Uh, we live. Uh, we live. Sound works. Fantastic. Uh, okay. Uh, where were we? Let's continue with SEK2. We have four core miners. We've got our storage slash eventual voiding area. For up to eight solids and eight fluids at a time. Although, I've kind of altered it a little bit um, to process what little uranium ore comes out of core mining. What's this train trying to do? What's this train's problem? Uh, it's looking for 50k crude oil. And I think it's supposed to be looking for it up here. Um, let's see. Yeah, I should have probably... Oh, I should have reconnected this? Or did I... I think I changed it. I had a good reason to change it so that the oil only comes up here. But apparently I didn't change the... Uh, the stations to say this one does not have crude oil actually because they're all connected by the same circuit wire uh, so you should be going here actually uh, no you should be going here to pick up your oil And there should be only one station with this name, so we don't need the temporary stop, I think. Alright, here we go. Sigma Bean, Bajiba, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I wouldn't say you're late, no. We're just getting started. Alright, so there's our surprisingly slow to fill crude oil. Oh, I guess... Hmm... We do have only four... Tiles of... Well, four sections of pipe... Before the pumps. But... I was gonna say we're getting relatively low already. But that's not quite right. Yeah, I'm surprised how long this is taking. I'm really surprised how long this is taking. Maybe I'll add pumps here. Except then that one couldn't be input on this side. Hmm. It's supposed to be... It's supposed to be a super low priority. Well, okay, it's like... It's going to be the lowest priority drop-off. Um, but I guess crude oil is satisfied everywhere else. I could set this to ask for more crude oil. That might be a good idea. Apparently, I was going to have two crude oil drop-offs here, but I ended up not doing that. Hi, you have uranium mine? Uh, I have a uranium mine down here, but it's not connected to, um, to the rail network. Um, we're producing just a handful of uranium fuel cells, and that's basically it. Uh, we don't have coverings yet, so I don't really see too much point in going all out. Um, the uranium that we're going to want at scale, we're going to get on Hagen. So, uh, so we're not going to bother sending it via cannon. Also, 
Part of the reason for that is the uranium mines are relatively far away. Um, I don't really feel like going that far for a resource that um, I don't need much of. We going to Hagen today? I certainly hope so. The idea was to go to Hagen yesterday, but you know how it is sometimes. One thing after another. Zip pounce. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, alright, I was going to make a couple of advanced radar. Do I have rare metals here? I know where to get them. Oh, I saw them. I've got 4.5k. Shouldn't be that hard to see. There we go. Uh, I want an advanced radar or two. And we'll put that somewhere. We might need a few of them, actually. Um, put it somewhere in the rail network. So that... When we do... Uh, the screensaver with LTN. We'll actually be able to see what's going on. Alright, that's actually a little better than I expected. That's more like what I thought it would look like the first time. We'll just get a few of these. And one right about here, I think. A bit lower. How many... Uh, how many cells is this? Two cells down. Okay, so down here. Should be fine. Full coverage. Um, if I move it over this way, we should be able... To keep vision on all of this, I'm going to have to put it over here. This is fine. Wait, no, we're missing... Mm -hmm. I'd like to cover the whole thing with three radars. I think we can do that. They're kind of expensive. Although, 2 megawatts in K2 isn't that much. This is close enough, I th think. Okay. It, it'll do. I, actually, I kind of want it to be... Uh, is it... I can't actually cover both sides? With one radar? Is that how it is? Yeah, no, that's as good as it gets. And then another radar down here. I am this guy. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And thank you, I appreciate that. How about a radar right about here? Much schnell bitte. Uh, where are we going next? We were starting to put together a shopping list for Hagen. Uh, we want nuclear stuff. Oh, and I need to design a power plant. But that's going to be shockingly easy. Um, we spent just a little while yesterday looking at how the ratios are different in K2. Um, and it turns out, uh, one nuclear reactor, well, if you have a 4x4, four four, a 2x2 two two rather, the neighbor bonus is less, it, it's only 50% in vanilla, but 
it starts at 250 megawatts, and we actually get, I believe it's 1.5 megawatts, uh, gigawatts, uh, out of just a 2x2. Two two. Um, the heat exchangers gulp up 250 uh, water per second, which actually supplies five steam turbines. And we need very few heat, uh, heat pipes um, to consume all of that heat. Uh, 250 megawatt. If we had no neighbor bonus, then five of these would be sufficient to consume all the heat from that reactor. Um, but because we do have a neighbor bonus, 375 uh, dividing into 50 is... We're going to need more than seven. Uh, if we're going to do it symmetrical, there's going to be eight every quarter. Or we could do 1,500 over 50. We need 30 in total. 15. Hmm. Can we do it symmetrically if we have 30 in total? I don't know that we can. Hey, Mikelet, Ben Wu, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sorry I'm late. Had a random Deerclops spawn? Random Deerclops is a bit startling, isn't it? <laughs> I've only actually had that happen once, and I was completely over-leveled for it at the time, and yet... Random Deerclops, uh, it doesn't make me feel comfortable in that moment. <laughs> One, two, three. As is light. Warita, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Actually, let's do a little experiment and see if we can supply all the water for this uh, from one side. So we're going to assume perfect supply of water up to this point. And... Zim, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's not very fun, the requirement to stay close in order to damage it is frustrating. Yeah, I completely agree. I, I just don't bother with that boss until I'm over-leveled for it, and the, the amount of time it would take to kill it, you can, you can always just leave and come back and it won't regenerate, so it's literally just a marathon. Um... You'll die in, like, what, three or four hits or something, but you can usually get away. But it it takes ages to kill it if you're at a level where the loot is actually going to be any good. It, it's There's not much point in fighting Deerclops. I did at least get a laugh when it fell down the elevator. <laughs> nice. Uh, so what are we doing? We need some power consumers. Uh, since we can't put down energy beam stuff, uh, in this surface, what should we put down? Probably beacons, 10 megawatt each. We would need 150 of them, uh, to consume the entire... Uh, the entire supply of energy from this. What do we got? 36. 72. Uh, 148. 44. Dope. Okay. So theoretically, uh, that should be able to consume all of that power. How are we going to fit... Well, okay, I'm not going to worry about how it fits together yet. I just want to test the ratios. And once we confirm that that's a correct ratio, we'll... And that the water could get all the way through here. Uh, then we will... Oh, it's still heating up. Oh, input fluid. What do you call it? Oh, 
Bumps need power. Uh, once we confirm the ratios are good and everything, we'll shape it so that it fits under substations. Uh, okay, so what's our power looking like here? 800 megawatts. Oh, I haven't hit the other side yet. And this part doesn't copy paste. And the heat is still rising over here. 800 megawatt is more than half of 1500, though. I'm surprised we got that much. Oh, it's including the solar panel. No, oh, that's only 200 kilowatts. Let's get rid of that. And it just dropped to zero? How did that happen? We have no heat. How do we have no heat? What? 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 What just... What the... I don't understand. Just place a infinite accumulator and set it to take power. Um, I do try using those sometimes, but uh, it's hard to explain the way it drains doesn't necessarily work the way I would want. We'll try it. Uh, let's see. Mode input. Uh, tertiary. We don't want it to act like lasers or something and be super greedy. And 1500. Can I do decimals? No, I can't. Um, I need a 500 megawatt times 3, or a 1 gigawatt and a 500 megawatt. Okay. It's up to 1.4. It's probably just still saturating with heat. Um, but what I'm really interested in is whether... The water will get all the way to the end. We need 2,000 per second uh, for each row. And theoretically our steel pump can do 18,000. Wow. How much can a vanilla pump do with this mud set? 12,000. That's 10 times an offshore pump. Okay. So it really is just going to be a question of, can we get 2,000 per second through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 uh, containers that are consuming it? And I don't know the answer. It looks like the answer is yes. How's our power? 1.5 gigawatt, and we're consuming 1.5 gigawatt. Let's consume slightly more just to see what happens. So we should be... Actually, won't the pumps struggle if we do that? I'm finding it weird that it still says 1.5 gigawatt here. Why, why are the infinity accumulators still saying they consume 1.5 gigawatt? It's only over the last five seconds. I definitely changed it l before that. 1.8 megawatt? Infinity accumulators as consumers are a bit weird. But, I mean... If the demand is 1.5 gigawatt, then this should be a sufficient test, right? It does seem 
that we're not having any trouble with the water flow. Alright then. Uh, let's give this a try. Get it away from the steam so I can see. Could we make it more compact or something? Well, first of all, we have to consider where the substations are going to fit. We can only go three deep here, but we can touch all five of them. Um, if it weren't for these two, we could cover the whole thing with one substation. I could always put a couple of steam engines out the back. Or even... Well, no, that would make this one using... That would give this one six consumers. Yeah, I don't love that. How about... What if this was here? So it goes three on either side. This would go here. This would go here, perhaps. And we need eight, so just two more. Right. And I think a second pump here would make a lot of sense. And or we could pump water in from more than one direction. It's going to make it a lot easier. What? How far does this go? Let's use a steel. It's going to make it a lot easier to be able to get our water in if we do this. Bilbo, Erpfulke, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I bet those are our personal bots hovering over there. Yeah. This is this is their retirement. Unfortunately. It's not the prettiest reactor. It's not the worst. I could also have pipe coming out here. May as well throw some accumulators in this space. Hmm. I feel like just to make the most of that space there. Actually, we're going to have a substation here, right? But it doesn't reach here. They don't touch. So probably this, and then we can have another one out here. Uh, we've definitely got room for solar panels and roboports. It looks kind of neat. I don't mind this. Okay. Copy, paste, flip. And we're going to have a bunch of empty space over here. Uh, I don't want to spend that much time on this where I try to make the maximum use out of all this. Uh, we can actually, with K2... Oh, hello, bots. Uh, with K2, we can actually set this to logistics mode, which doesn't do construction things, um, and it'll have more range. But considering the spacing that we have, I think this is totally fine. Don't forget the water. 
Don't forget the water. Um... You know what, I might just move this for the blueprint. Uh, we already tested the ratios, but I guess we can double check this. And water in here. Water in here. That should be more than overkill uh, for the water supply. Just to confirm again, we've got 8 to 5 in each quarter, which is more than enough to consume all of the heat. Uh, 7.5 per quarter is what we need. And I don't really have... Uh... Oh wait, we need power to reach here. Our chests are going to be... Oh, I can do one chest for the requester. And then purple for output. Going to give the ones their own water pipe? Yeah, uh... Oh, I forgot I didn't actually mean to do this. Well, then again. It might look a bit neater if we do it this way. No, I do want... I do want to be sure that we've got more than enough uh, water flow. That should be fine. Can we fit some steam tanks in here elegantly? Probably not in the middle. Uh, let's see. Where are my tanks? Up here. Okay, that's... That's probably the worst part of this build so far. I'm thinking would we just have a pair of or a couple of uh, big storage tanks over here. Can I actually fit two of them? I don't think so. No, we're one off, or two off, depending on how you look at it. Uh, large storage tank. I did want to have room for some solar panels as well. Uh, really, these are just here to make sure the pumps work when nothing else does to get it started. We can't fit three, can we? No. On the turbines is usually the best so you aren't throttled by a pipe. Aren't throttled by a pipe. On the top. Oh, you mean like here? Yeah. Yeah, I was hoping to use this space, but it's not really looking that good. I would have to have. Oh, would it even reach? Just barely. Uh, if I have steam come back this way. The point of it is really just to measure and store excess power so that we don't waste fuel for the most part. But if, it, if it's going to stick two tiles out this way, it may as well stick three tiles out this way. And we could have ludicrous amounts of storage easily. And the flow would be more favorable, as you say. Uh, can we do it better with high 
capacity storage tanks? I don't think so. I don't think there's a good consistent pattern here. It's also going to take up more space on the side. It does work out to fit a lot more neatly than the vanilla storage tanks with the large ones. Below you got the same problem, an accumulator on place of a pipe, these two. And... I guess we can fit solar panels or something in here if we really want to. But I'm not overly concerned about that. Okay. Someone was asking yesterday about uh, fuel management for a nuclear plant. Uh, basically, all you need to do is read from a steam tank. Because the steam tanks can store a lot of energy um, and stop putting fuel in when you reach a certain amount of steam. But if you do it just simply and directly like that. You might have to piggyback off an accumulator here. Uh, if you were to simply say steam less than X, uh, because of the delay in putting the fuel in and ending up with more steam after this heats up and this does its job, you will end up with like the maximum number of uranium fuel cells placed into the reactor by the inserter um, before it notices that there isn't more steam, uh, that that our steam is starting to fill up. Uh, if you want it to, if you wanted to put in exactly one, what you can do. Could also place a few more accumulators, that's true. Uh, what you can do if you want this to put in exactly one fuel cell is we're going to read the output inserter uh, and it's going to have an enabled condition. So when steam is below some amount, let's say, what do we got here, 50k? Uh, let's say when steam is below 25k or something, that's probably, we could probably be a lot more aggressive with this. This is about, uh, almost the smallest reactor we can make, uh, and we've got lots of energy storage in the steam, so we'll say if steam drops below 45,000 per tank. We're, re we're just going to read this one and assume that that's representative. Or it's probably the first steam tank to get filled up, so that's good as well. Um, once, we, once we reach that number, we are not going to take uh, used up uranium fuel cells out of the nuclear reactor. And we're going to read hand contents pulse. And this one is only going to put uranium fuel cells in if it detects used up uranium fuel cell. And there's just one little downside of this version, which is... Why, why is everything flashing? We have solar panels. Oh, do we have... No? What's, what's with this power network? 10 megawatt. What's consuming 10 megawatt? Huh? What? What is this power consumer? Oh... Oh, I think it's just the robopods.
Okay, how about now? That's better. Redstonia, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Mucky, good to see you again also. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I think I said hello to Bilbo. Welcome, Bilbo. Or maybe I was too caught up in the design. Almost 4am, I stopped, but just stopped playing Factorio. Now you're making me want to play more. Uh, y you're welcome. Modinho, welcome, welcome also. This is a very aesthetically pleasing setup. Uh, thank you. Okay, so it's not going to get started by itself, is the one downside of this version. So we just have to be able to feed it a pulse. Which we can do manually, uh, remotely, with um, switching this combinator on and off. Alright, so we're going to put... We need some substations up here. Uh, it's a little wasteful, but we got to have symmetry, right? Right? This would... This would reach here. How about that? No, it's not doing this... Oh, wait. There we go. I was going to say it's not doing the same thing with the power poles. Then the pump doesn't have power. God damn it. Okay, fine, we'll do this. Now it doesn't want to do the same thing with the wiring. Okay, that's not too bad. Alright, so we're going to put in a bunch of uranium fuel cells. Uranium fuel cells. Uh, and once we feed them the signal as if we were taking used up fuel cells out, we're going to put those in. Also, I should have set that to stack size 1. But it's fine, especially for getting started. You can manually set the cables by using a copper wire. Yeah, I know. It was just slightly easier to do it that way. Okay. Um, so I think that'll be it. We kind of already tested it, right? Kind of. Hard to believe this little thing is a 1.5 gigawatt reactor. But it'll it'll certainly do to get us started. Let's blueprint that. Um yeah. And I don't even have to remove the cheat pipes because for some reason these days they can't be copy pasted or blueprinted. We're not going to snap to a grid for this. Reactor. Uh, K2SE. 1500 megawatt. Let's just say 1.5 gigawatt. 2 by 2. I should have a... Uh... It's fine, I'll do it later. Alright, meanwhile, we have been producing some stuff. Uh, we should have some nuclear reactors here. We have five. Considering they have a stack size of one, uh, and a 2x2 two two is 1.5 gigawatt, that's actually probably plenty for our first trip back. Um, so when you lose cargo from the cargo rocket, it loses a fraction of a stack, 
So things like, in this case, nuclear reactors, uh, it's actually impossible to lose any. Let's put that in here. Didn't realize my inventory was actually full. How much heat pipe do we need? Only 84 and 32 heat exchangers. Wait, have we made any heat exchangers? We have not, because we haven't reached our target for nuclear reactors. Um, okay. How about... We put those on hold. And it'll swap to heat exchangers in a second. We definitely need to take more media defense and... Oh, that's scary. Yeah, we need to hurry up and get back. We've only got like 20-something media, media defense installation ammo. And some of the cannons are not working anymore already. So, that's one thing we definitely... Why is this belt lacking media defense installation ammo? That's kind of spooky. Uh, 60 should be more than enough to get us back on track before we mass-produce them uh, on Hagen. Have the steam feed a Schmidt trigger? What's that? Low feeding an edge detector to pick up when to first put... That does sound overcomplicated. Alright, we do still have a bunch of ammo on the belt, but I'm a little concerned... I guess we've been making other stuff too much to get around with the autocrafter to making media defense installation ammo. We need battery, EC, and uh, uh, steel plate. I'm sure we can do that with belts. Battery, electronic circuit should be here, steel plate should be here. Do we have all of those in here? We should. We're not really using the rockets anymore. Let's change this. Ammo. And I'll add... Uh, battery. Electronic circuit. And steel plate. Make sure we always have those in here. And then... Let's just spaghetti this through here. Okay. We're not going to run out of media defense ammo anytime soon. Actually, I should put it in a container, uh, so that we have plenty next time. Why is my inventory this full? Oh my goodness. Um, can we remove the excess? Sounds like an end gate. Noxyway Gaming, Splix, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, alright then. What else do we need to take to Hagen? Uh, complicated things. That's what we figured out yesterday. We've we've already got, and we will have more so, a good supply of basic resources. Uh, the thing that's going to slow us down. Um, building out 
Hagen is advanced stuff. So number one thing is nuclear reactors. Uh, number two is what exactly? Uh, I don't know. I could just I could just take lots of processing units and big electric motors and stuff again. Heat shield LDS. That's actually not that difficult. Oh, we should bring a ton of rail to help. Nah, we can manufacture rail there. Modules, not really. Uh, cliff explosives, that's a bit of a pain to set up, right? Explosives, grenade. Did we set that up on Hagen already? We've got a dodgy plastic build. Sulfur. I don't really want to dedicate too many inventory slots to cliff explosives, actually. Nah, I think we'll just manufacture that there. Let's see. Let's have a look at all the things we're making over here. Power poles are not that hard. Robopods are a bit of a nuisance. It takes an entire stack of small electric motors to make a robopod. Centrifuges, definitely. Do we have centrifuges? We have 16. It's a start. Centrifuge. Where is it? Where, where, where? There it is. What else is a pain to handcraft or set up manufacturing for over there? Good inserters? That's not that big of a deal. Going to Hagen today? Indeed. Why are we calling it Dazaz again? Welcome, welcome. Fraser K, good to see you again. Using space manufacture machine on planet, nice. Oxyway Gaming, if I didn't say so. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I guess we could take research with us. Uh, science tech cards, that is. I'm surprised how little I'm inclined to take at the moment. Let's just take a bunch of big electrics, processing units, uh, stuff that's just going to make things easy for us when we suddenly realize we need X. Also... I'm going to dump my inventory again. Okay. Rocket control units I don't care about. Like, we'll just build them when we need them. Uh, actually, I'll just double check that. Rocket control... We need it for Spider-Tron. Well, we're not getting Spider-Trons just yet. Yeah, we're not going to be trying to make a Robopod or Radar or something and suddenly realize we need that. We do need heat shielding for some things. Um, that we use on the ground, like uh, furnaces and stuff. Definitely batteries. Oh, we probably want to take lithium batteries. Let's get 10 stacks of blue circuits as well. Maybe more because it only stacks to 100. Red circuits. 
old way over here. That's plastic. We already have plastic over there. I'm sure we'll need plenty of those. Also green circuits, just to make things easy. On the other hand, green circuits are pretty easy already. We've still got a lot of them over there, I think. 1k? Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Uh, steel. And steel beams. Oh, that's 11 stacks. Get out of here. What else? Bulk loaders are not hard to make. We've got a lot of the rocket left over here. I think I will end up taking a bunch of cliff explosives. The whole point of this rocket is, apart from like the nuclear stuff, is we're just making things easier as opposed to sending stuff that we strictly need. So maybe I will send a bunch of cliff explosives, rail, and so on. We're just making our building process over there smoother. How about solar panels? No, uh, they're not hard to make. Well, they're a little hard to make. We're going to have nuclear power, it's fine. And we can expand uh, biomethanol as well. We can definitely manufacture pipes there. Signals? Uh, no, I thought about that, but the, the stack sizes are not that good. We'll just manufacture them in place. We're already going to be bringing... Well, we already have iron plate and electronic circuits. Like, included in the delivery cannon as well is... Delivery cannons. We've got iron, copper, steel. Where is our steel? Did we get any? Zero? Wait, what? Hold on. Iron ingot ended up completely full. Even though I said we have to have 50k molten iron before we start smelting iron here. Wow, look at all that. It's completely saturated. So my attempt to balance the priorities so that we do make some steel before we completely saturate iron came to nothing. But I don't understand why. Maybe I should have set this a bit higher. So there has to be 1.2 train loads of molten iron here before we start using it to smelt iron so that the molten iron will make its way to uh, steel production steel ingots. When do we next get some pyroflux? It's not that slow. We're doing just under 8 per second because our core mining drills just barely don't keep up with these. So what, 15,000? Uh... About 35 minutes. We should have our steel ingots. It's about time. But anyway, we do have... Um, 
we do have those things in constant supply once we get there. I could take another cargo rocket silo, but I don't necessarily see the point. I think we've got one here already. Yeah, we do. Oh, coal mining drills? We've got them. We've already got nine. Why do we have nine? I would have thought I sent ten. It's fine. I think I'm just going to pile in more intermediate products and stuff. I don't know, how hard is it to make a pulverizer? Not very. They don't stack very well anyway. We could send a bunch of glass. That might help. Not that glass is hard to make, but it's handy to have it. Oh, we've already got it. Not that much. Yeah, some glass will definitely smooth things over a bit. Concrete? Let's send 20 stacks of that. And we're only just now filling up the chest here with concrete. Oh, I see what's happening. The bots are taking it all. For the auto crafter. Concrete, glass, and I don't think I put... I did do red circuits. What else should we bring? Probably more ammo. We should have more ammo by now. But not enough to fill... to, to put any in this chest, actually. But I think I can confidently take from this belt. Gets us up to. What is it? I think eight stacks. Yeah, that should be plenty. We should be luxuriously able to get our ammo production over there going as slow as we like. Davy NLD, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do we have this thing against energy beams over there? Oh, the uh, umbrella. That's a good idea, actually. I, let me just check if I already did it. Umbrella. I did not bring an umbrella. We've got at least 11 hours uh, before we have to deal with one over there, but it would be convenient if we make an umbrella here. We need 100, 100, 200, 200. Another 100 of those. Okay. Battery processing unit. Processing unit is down here. And then concrete glass. 200 each. Gonna have to take concrete from the belt. Where am I? This is sulfur. Burgers and fries. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream today? Burgers and fries. Andy Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. A random thought I had is using delivery cannons as long-range weapons against biters. You can, it's just not very effective. Uh, especially for the cost. Alright, and then... Copper and steel. Steel. 
copper umbrella. Shooting wood at them? Yeah, I mean, even the cost of the delivery cannon capsule itself. It, it's not that... It, it's a bit much for how little damage it does, but you can do it, absolutely. A low-tech pile driver that doesn't have an auto-aim feature. Alright, what else are we taking? Uh, I definitely would like some more ready-made... Oh, that's not... I definitely would like some more ready-made uh, buildings and stuff. Since we've got such a... We don't need to shove combinators in there. Uh, since we've got such a abundance of space in this rocket still. No, it's horrible, but this is what happens when I'm bored. <laughs> Made a lot of progress, and now delivering raw Vulcanite to Nalvis. With 40 delivery cannons. Now everything's set up to do prod science, except for the machine learning data. Nice. That's going to be quite the milestone... I think, getting utility and prod science done. Gonna open up a lot of possibilities. Where are we going? Uh, I guess we could... fill it up with inserters as well. This really is a luxury rocket. I might end up putting rail signals in there, to be honest, at this rate. No, I should real. How did this happen? I should really focus on stuff that's difficult to make. It would be nice to have a head start on science. When we get it moving again. What's the total cost of a tech card? In raw resources. Not as much as you'd think. Uh, the rocket tech card certainly is. Wee bit expensive. But the others, for the most part... What if we just take rocket tech cards? To give us a head start when we move our science. Like, all of that. Send another science rocket after? Could do. Uh, more furnaces. Sounds good. Some solar panels and accumulators. I think I will take. It's by far the easiest way to expand our power system. And hopefully we've got... A chest full of solar, more or less. Alright, we're finally starting to see the end of this uh, cargo rocket. Um, I'm really out of ideas as to what else we should put in here. Isn't solar super bad at Hagen? Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, it's actually bad enough. I'll keep the accumulators, because sometimes... It, it definitely doesn't hurt to have them, and sometimes I want them to measure our power network. Lots of rail? Yeah, I think I will do that. Uh, automation cores... Are a nice little luxury when it when we realize we need to handcraft something. B 
be careful, the industrial furnace doesn't make everything that the electric furnace makes. Uh, I remember that, yeah. What was it the electric furnace made that the industrial didn't? We had a block somewhere here where we've learned that recently. Um, it wasn't stone... Was it stone brick? It must have been stone brick. Otherwise I wouldn't have used electric furnaces here. Alright, we'll definitely take a stack of electric furnaces. Uh, maybe two. We don't actually have them stored, they're just on the belt though. But I don't know exactly how many we have here. It should be four per belt for the most part, except where there's corners and stuff. Uh, I guess we could take speed modules as well. Yeah, we can, we can take speed. How do we make speed modules? It's a little bit of a nuisance. We can definitely take a few of these. Uh, maybe not that much. Oh, wow, that's already... That's already five stacks of electric furnaces. I think... I think that'll do. For now. Uh, we don't have any heat pipe uh, just yet. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Fuel, that might be... We've already got... Um, we've already got oil set up on Hagen, so I'm not too worried about fuel. Coke and stone. We've got coke being delivered by cannon. Or we, we've got coal, rather. Coke is less... If Coke only goes to steel. That's why we didn't send coke. It's more stack efficient to just send steel. Um, and we are sending coal. That's a big one, because Hagen really doesn't have much coal. Military science? Uh, we do have the biomatter. We're able to mass produce it. I guess it is a... Let's see. Coke, steel plate, biomatter. Electronic components, blank tech. It's not that hard to make military. I, I took the rocket stuff because it's actually really expensive. Um... Oh yeah, belts. That's a huge one, blue belts. Should have thought of that sooner. That's going to take up a significant portion of our remaining space. Could probably go for even more. Do we have enough landing pads over there? Uh, we've got one. That's all I really need for now. Not worried about blue, uh, yellow or red belts. Not worried about anything military because it's a vitalist planet. The only guns and ammo we need are for media defenses. And we already have the guns and we're taking the ammo. Um, speed modules. Lithium batteries, were those... Did we only need those for power armor stuff so far? Advanced tech card, personal battery mark 3... Yeah... We don't need to worry about those for a while. Definitely. Uh, cargo rocket sections? That might be a good idea. What is it, 20 stacks? 
ignoring the cargo rocket sections that get recycled. Uh, 20 stacks of packed cargo rocket sections um, are enough to send us back. Oh wait, we're going to use the, the spaceship for that. Never mind. Glad I don't have to bother with that. Let's let's bring let's bring bots. That seems like a good idea. Take care, burgers. Thanks for the raid. Thanks for hanging out. Do we have enough landing pads, bots, and roboports? Yes. I didn't pack any roboports yet. Do we have them automated, or we should? Yeah, we've got fifty roboports somewhere. Are they in here? I see eight. Let's do the factory search. Copy paste tool. <laughs> Lol. Robo. Vehicle roboport. I can't wait to play with those. Actually, can I make those? Uh, yeah, I can. We just don't have anything to put them in yet. I could make a construction train. That'd be interesting. I I really want a spider tron. I'd settle for a car if it had the remote. But AAI vehicles, um, vehicle control is extremely UPS expensive. Maybe a fish, lol. Self-building train track, indeed. Sport, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Kapem Kota, welcome also. Construction train sounds cool. Are we going to do it because of rule of cool? I'm okay with that. Uh, Robo port is what I was looking for. We can't make the advanced ones yet, right? Product ingredient? Huh? No, storage. Storage only. Alright, there's some here. There's some here. And there's 41 over here, actually. Fantastic. Give me that. How about four stacks? And then... More cliff explosives, more blue belt. Uh, where's my cliffies? Here we go. Only three stacks, that's fine, I guess. See how much blue belt we've accumulated in this short time. Oh, right, I didn't actually empty that belt, uh, chest yet. Uh, but we don't have a whole stack of undergrounds. And I'll even take another stack of loaders. Any more inserters? Quite a few. I'm not going to bother, actually, with anything less than a stack. Heat pipe is steam turbines, etc. Oh yeah, I haven't actually taken the steam turbines. We have uh, 37 stacks remaining. How many steam turbines do we need for our first reactor? 160. Wow. How hard are they to make? Shockingly easy, actually. It might be better not to bring them in this form. Stack of 10. So we would need, uh, what was it? 16 stacks. Where's our heat pipe? 253. Fantastic. That's way more than enough because K2's ratios means we only need a couple of stacks of heat pipe. Even accounting for loss. Do we have more nuclear reactors? 
We have one. I'm only going to bother with the one set of them. I might just hold on to these personally so that we don't lose any. What is the mod that searches the base? Factory search, yes. And... This is looking pretty good, actually. Alright, do we have any more centrifuges? We have eight. Gimme, gimme. I'm not going to be so patient as to wait for a whole stack of some of these things. Oh, we've got more blue belt in here. I almost forgot the heat exchanges. And... I guess I will take... Rail things, just to make it easier. All right, that's looking pretty good, I think. Did you get rail? Yes. Not that much, but it's fine. I will take signal... Oh, wait. Let me take my personal effects back into my inventory before I make more decisions. Blue belts. Uh, not worried about pipes. Steel pumps and underground pipes would be worth the trouble. Uh, I guess substations, some train stops, we don't have to be that picky to be H. And that's about it. More steel underground pipes would be a good idea. I should drop off these military things that we don't need. I don't really want to go anywhere without my personal military effects, though. One exact stack of cliff explosives. I'll definitely take that. What was I coming here for? Rail? Signals? That might just about do it. We can get more repair packs. Might want to take critical infrastructure items in your inventory. Yep. Uh, except for things that are stack size of one, because we can't lose those. Did I... I did make that umbrella, right? I think it's in... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember placing it in the rocket because it looks bigger than the rocket. Mm, I'll keep these. Let's see how many more we've got. Splitters. Oh, wow. Undergrounds. You know what? I'll take 30. It's worth it. How easy are cannons to make? Relatively. Why are there 
explosives in my inventory. Take more inserters. Not gonna need air purifiers. I think that just about does it. Oh, rare metals. We could take a few of those. No, we can already cannon them. Oh, delivery cannon chests. We'll take a stack of that. That'll be a lot easier than making it. Uh, where are they though? Here we go. And... Signal transmitter. I think I would like to make a stack of these. Actually, we're only going to need one for a long time, so that's fine. Alright, we'll take some more power poles. Um, maybe pumps aren't difficult, but I'm running out of ideas. Casting machines? Alright, this will do. I think we are ready. Let's confirm that nothing's been destroyed for a while. The last time something broke, it was a logistic bot. It must have been bot attrition. And a stone wall was destroyed seven hours ago. Uranium? Uh, we've got uranium being delivered. And there's a lot more uranium to be mined on Hagen. Some fuel cells to get the nuclear reactor started would be a good idea, though. That's a point. I've only got a handful. Um, because I've only been using it for my personal roboport. I'm just going to store it in here. It's actually about the only way I can fit it with, uh, put it in my inventory without, um, without dying of radiation poisoning. I heard you had some UPS issues with Rampant. Yeah, uh, some issues would be an understatement. It basically dropped the UPS from 60 to about 20 uh, in the space of a minute or two. And... First guess it was rampant. We removed rampant. Everything has been fine since. Presumably it was sending about a million biters to attack simultaneously and they were all pathing. Or maybe they reached a critical mass of bumping up against each other in their own nests as well. Holy cow, yeah. How much 235 do we have here? More than expected. Alright. Could you go yellow again? Where are my bots? Oh, I don't have any bots in my inventory. Dark. And I'll take one more of these. Let's get out of here. Okay. I think we're as ready as we're gonna get, more or less. Surely I could squeeze this into my power armor? It doesn't look like I can, actually. Alright, off to Hagen we go. Am 
My rig isn't that much of a beast. My rig would go nuclear if that happened to me. Yikes. It, it's, uh... I'm loving how quiet it is. Uh, my machine. Since... Installing... Uh, since replacing the CPU cooler with a Be Quiet fan. I've also got a graphics card that doesn't even bother to turn the fan on unless it reaches, I don't know what temperature. Um, so you can barely hear anything if it's not trying hard. Although I do get... If, if I'm running like Unreal Engine, for example, uh, something that just runs the graphics card at full tilt no matter what's happening I'm hearing a disturbing like I don't want to say grinding sound but it's it's uh it's putting me off playing certain games I should have brought more chests um we've still got some empty ones here but nothing compared to a cargo rocket. Wait! Oh no! Oh no! Are, are you kidding? Did I forget? Did I just forget to aim at the cargo landing pad? Uh, I'm gonna have to make trips back and forth just because I forgot that one little detail. Whining sound? Kind of. I think it's just not perfect lubrication on the fan, or it's like bumping up against a power cable or something. I thought that was odd. Should I load an autosave? How far back is this? Because it's not, it's not going to be interesting watching me go back and forth fixing this. Uh, 1.14.30, and if I save it now... What, what's our time now? Four days, 18 hours, 54 minutes. I wish it would show the same... 114 hours, 30. Uh, let's see, 24 times 4 is 96, plus 18, 114, 54... Yeah, it's like 24 minutes ago. That we did the autosave. Uh, fine. Well, we're gonna need our rocket fuel. Oh, I brought poison capsules. Rip. It's fine. I can't believe I forgot that. I mean, I looked at and saw that it was pointed at Hagen, and I thought, oh, I set this up earlier. Okay. I hope we at least have our nuclear reactors. We should do. That's three. That's four. Okay. Where should we put our nuclear reactor? I bet we can fit it here. Oh wait, this is where I started putting names. Is that okay? Oh yeah, this is this thing is so small for 1.5 gigawatts. Um, so we'll put it over here, I think. And I'll start by taking all the nuclear stuff. I thought I was carrying the nuclear stuff. We're going to be short some steam turbines, I think. We definitely need to hurry up and deliver some ammo. Um, maybe I should use factory search. Maybe I should just 
pick up everything and go. 1.5 gigawatts? Yeah, a 2x2 two two nuclear reactor in K2 gives you 1.5 uh, gigawatts of power. Luckily I've picked up construction bots. Oh, we don't actually have these request chests yet. And away we go. I recently discovered orbital solar and elevators, indeed. Uh, I'm going to shift C and drop all of this off. I think I just ran out of fuel. Or I put it away somewhere. Here we go. Uh, let's put our science... Uh, I don't know. Oh, we've got strong boxes all over the place. That's going to help. Science. This stuff. Accumulators. Rail. Inserters. Alright, shift C. Do we not have... Oh, right, it's keeping the concrete in my inventory because of my requests. It was a Back to the Future reference? Wait, what was... Oh, I see. Uh... That's probably... I, I, I bet you they tweaked it so that a 2x2 two two reactor gives you exactly that reference. I guess my bots are going to indiscriminately pick this stuff up. We'll just go with it. And now we're over full. No, stop, 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 stop. There we go. And back to base. Is it down here? Shift C. Uh, shift C. Yeah, it's it's stopping at my requests. Batteries can go in here. Oh, ammo goes here. Hurry up with that. Hopefully no damage was done in the meantime. Let's go get some more. There it is. Wait, where is it? I went past it. Yoink. Yoink. And a yoink. Oh, we still have room. And shove this in our fresh slots. So I'll pick those up. Oh, right. I don't want to activate the bots right now. Alright, back we go. No meteorites were harmed during the recording of this gameplay. Only because they don't have a nervous system. Furnaces. Put oil refineries in there as well. Um, 
Luckily we don't have anywhere for the bots to take this stuff. Belts. Rainable. Bots. Roboports. Concrete. Scrap goes in here somewhere. Isn't there a gigawatts reference in how to duck also? I thought I ran out of fuel. Stupid uranium. Just the rocket he yeeted into Hagen's surface. Yes, indeed. That is what happened. Do we have room for this? Not even. Uh, maybe one more trip. Fantastic. I thought I was carrying some steam turbines, but I don't see them. I may as well fly over this and see if the bots drop something. There we go. Your brain was on full send mode? Not sure what that means, but okay. Uh, let's head back down here. Lolilo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, shift C. More furnaces in here, please. Let's get out of here. Blue belt this way. Inserters. Rail. Ammo. Umbrella. Do we have the spare power for an umbrella? Oh yeah. Definitely. Or so I thought. Is it charged? It's already charged. Oh, it charges... Wait, how aggressively does it charge? It just took all of the power for a few seconds. What's the plan for today? Uh, we've brought a bunch of stuff to Hagen to make it a whole lot smoother to build our base here. And uh, now this is pretty secure, so we don't have to stress about going back there for a while. We've also got delivery cannons um, that we're going to use to send things to Hagen, especially coal. Are we getting steel yet? I think we're almost due to get the pyroflux that will lead to steel. 48k, fantastic. Actually, I think I got rid of the priority, so it might take it to copper. Let's make sure that, no, it's still here. Super aggressive charger will stop pumps, which is fun for inexperienced steam batteries. Uh-oh. Just yeeted it to Hagen without checking the destination. I checked the destination. It said Hagen. We got to Hagen, didn't we? So what's the problem? Alright. Uh, steam turbines. I'm going to have to build these and then check if there's any more lying around. Got two, like, the wind turbines? Wait, what? Maholic? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Um, I don't think we're gonna... I was gonna say I don't think we're gonna worry about the solar panels, but... 
the whole point is just to make sure the pumps work and the inserters and stuff over here. But we're going to be linked to enough like wind turbines and stuff anyway. So we need uh, substations, heat exchangers, turbines of course. Steam... Turbine? Uh, Hagen, please. There we go. In these two chests. If cleaning up Rex is your thing, I'm not kink-shaming. It's obviously not my thing. How dare you. Uh, that's only ten. That's a lot. Alright. Substations. Substation. Whoops. Here it is. That will do. Oh no, we've got right re regular substations as well. Gross. And I think there was some more up here. And what else are we missing? I think we got all the heat pipe. Uh, we need heat exchangers. There we go. Heat exchange. Oh, this is still the nav set view. <laughs> Heat exchanger. Fantastic. Pumps. Pipes. Offshore pump we will handcraft as always. We just need iron and copper. Iron is over here. Copper is over here. I think we actually want copper wire, right? Small electric. Yeah, give me that wire. And... We might actually need those 12 pumps. Let's see. 32 of these. It won't actually be 32, but... Let's say we're going for 8k, so we need like 8 pumps, almost. Which is convenient, because we've got eight water inputs, actually. I also need a little bit of pipe. Uh, where's my offshore? Here we go. Might be good enough to not bother having a steel pump there. Offshore pump, where did you go? There it is. And once more with feeling. Big pole, I don't have a big pole. Will this fit cozily? It will not. All right, substation it is. And one more over here. Oh, that's unfortunate. How about this? Couple more down this way. Is that going to line up? It just might. One off? Are you serious? Rude. So close, indeed. 
Uh, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we just need these last two. How about up here? Actually, that might just reach directly. Oh, it just barely doesn't. How dare you. Alright. One off, indeed. Um, I don't think I can put a big pole even here. Oh, I can. That should be a big pole. And then we need some large storage tanks. Oh, we actually brought way more than enough steam turbines. That's good. Steam turbines. I don't know, go in here. What was I looking for? Storage tanks. Of the large variety. Fantastic. Big poles. Well, this'll do. Top left pump isn't connected. Alright. Top left pump. Oh, this one? And then... Substation up here. That's actually already connected. Oh, we're missing one steam turbine? Bruh. That power plant is super compact and clean. Thank you. Actually, would this have lined up? Oh, it does. Oh, that's beautiful. Gimme, gimme. Big pole... Uh, give a, give, 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 give the offshore. Thank you. And we don't have, uh, request to chests, so we're just going to do this manually for now. We'll take most of... Uh, let's say... Eight on each side. Uh, we're also not going to have an output. Well, we're not going to have a bot controlled output for a while. Alright, so we need one steam turbine and. A single combinator. And that's our nuclear plant. I might leave it idle until our power needs reach a certain point. Since we don't have the throughput of uranium fuel cells yet. Uh, what was I looking for? Combis and a single steam turbine. And that's it.
Oh, and we need a couple of pieces of pipe still. That looks like it's done. Let's connect it to the main network. Oh, you're joking. Oh, no. Oh, no. One off. Let's grab one more, or rather one more stack of big power poles. Where even are they? Two chests. Put them in here. All the power poles. There's still some in here. Apparently? Or is that working off obsolete information? There needs to be a chest defragment mod? Yeah. Alright. So until I flick this on for a moment, we won't actually use the nuclear reactor. But it is ready and waiting. Uh, what's next? Delivery cannon chests. Where would I like to set this up? I think I'll use the block where we're going to do this uh, mineral water mining. We need... Do we have mineral water pump jacks? Already? Zero. Okay, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can make three already. Be taking some steel if I can find it. Steel beams, steel gear wheels. That's iron beams. Up oh, steel beam. Uh, automation cores and pipe. Fantastic. So since most of this block is going to be empty. And, well, I was gonna say the delivery cannon receiver area is not gonna have to be that big, but on second thought, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We need eleven different pickups, unless I do multi pickups. Which are not going to be able to use the bulk loaders. Uh, hmm. Can we fit 11 pickup stations coming from delivery cannon chests in this block? The chest itself is only 40 stacks, so that's only one cargo wagon. That would be if we did fill it up completely, which we won't. Um, I need to design this fluid pickup as well. I guess it's not going to be any different from oil. I'm just going to find where it makes the most sense to run a pipe down the middle. And minimize... usage of pipe. Hmm. I guess this will go here. And trim it a bit.
That's about as good as it's going to get. Now then, let's go pick up a bunch of rail. Not to mention pipe. I'm already carrying large storage tanks. I keep going back to this power plant when I don't mean to. Uh, pipe. Pumps. I think I was already carrying pumps, actually. Uh, do we have the biggest storage tanks handy? We do. I wish it wouldn't jump to the nav set. There's our delivery can chest. And we might need some belts and things. Maybe some inserters. Definitely some rail signals. Definitely some rail. Where is the rest of the rail? Here we go. Whoops. May as well let the bots place the signals. Oh, we didn't have these before. Um... Oh right, we do need vanilla core fragment processing, because we get some vanilla core fragments. Out of cryonite ones. Away we go. Okay. So the challenge is bit 11, I can't put something else on top of, I can actually. I'd like to jump into the editor for this, but I think it's going to not include pump jacks. if I paste this here. But we still have a rough idea of where they are. We definitely have room to do this. And not so much up here. Definitely have room for that. We could obviously do one two, three, four, five, six, seven train stops if I wanted to use the bulk loaders. Um, there doesn't have to be... There doesn't really have to be anything but the train stops. So we can just have... It's going to be a bit awkward, I think. How much room does this take up? That's not that bad, actually. We want a delivery cannon chest. Where is it? Here it is. Not going straight to the train because... Uh, because it's not going to have enough capacity. Actually, I wonder if we can... That needs to go back a bit, doesn't it? That doesn't look right. Yeah, that is one-off. 
Oh no. I hope we have room to do this. Loader goes here. Fantastic. And I think... Oh, that's an unloader. I could have I could have used my little blueprint. That would have been easier if I'd realized sooner. Uh, but yeah, I think if we put a delivery cannon chest like this, the loaders will actually take from it evenly. That is the unloading part. You don't need the tower. What tower? But. Yeah, this is shockingly compact, actually. Um, if we give it power, we should see these not perfectly evenly loaded. I think that's because they act like inserters. Like, there's a bunch of invisible inserters inside. It's not like we can change the stack size. But if we have... Yeah, we got exactly 50-50 this time. We fixed it, indeed. So this can actually be super compact. Um, let's get rid of the substation and see exactly how close together these can be. Literally could not be closer together than that. That's going to save a lot on belts and stuff. Uh, so we have how many? Seven already? We need eleven, though. In this block, if I can help it. Uh, I think we're going to manage somehow. Well, maybe not. It doesn't quite have room to do it. Oh. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that. We're easily going to be able to fit everything we're looking for here. As long as we're okay with a bit of traffic limitation. Zipper style, neat indeed. I don't think we're going to be delivering resources from Nalvis that rapidly. Um, whoops. Navsat cannot be opened in editor, indeed. I don't think we're going to be delivering resources from Nalvis that frequently. Like, one train is 80 stacks. That's 80 shots from a delivery cannon. Um, or 40... When there's two of them. This thing has to fire 80 times before a train can pick up LDS. I, I think it's going to be fine. I, I don't think we have to worry about traffic here. This isn't about high throughput, really. It's just about helping to build things. Uh, and we can always have another delivery cannon chest somewhere else if we do expand it. Okay. So this is how many? Seven? Eight? Nine? And we're only going for eleven. So I think I'll split it up a bit more. Uh, is there room for... I think it was here. I think I'll move that down one. I would like the delivery cannon chests to be north of uh, the loaders that they're feeding. 
just for the consistency of it. And we'll get rid of this straight rail. Put our blueprint back on top of that for the empty block. Oh. Whoops. That would probably help if it was snapped correctly. Okay, so we have 14. Uh, how about this? That's 11. Perfect. I'll just do it like that. That is extremely neat. Uh, and we could probably have the fluid pick up over this way. Quite cozily, actually. Lean, indeed. Alright, so huge storage tank, pumps, and won't be difficult to figure out the piping. Uh, I think this will do it. Can I just copy paste into here? Yes, indeed. Fantastic. And away go the bots. I actually can't believe how neat this is. I love this. Wait. They didn't actually place the rail there didn't press shift. Aren't you short on first stop signals there? You just have the entrance ones. Uh, yes. Yeah, I just haven't uh, placed them yet. Alright, I think we'll get this working and then we'll take a little break. Need to go back for more signals. You have two by Factorio running, or how did you go to the editor and back? Uh, the mod is called Editor Extensions, and what's this? Uh, if you want... Uh, let me just put this back. Uh, if you want the lab, it's under Settings, Mod Settings, Per Player... And testing lab that allows that that will add a surface to your game that you can jump to for editing purposes. Um, it'll tell you in this mouse over thing that you'll want to switch this setting off as well if you don't want to cheat. Um, there are some downsides in the lab. You can't do a few things that you can do in a separate save with editor extensions, like. Uh, spaceships, uh, energy beams, anything to do with multiple surfaces, like space elevators. But also, uh, it actually causes uh, LTN Manager to crash. And if I try to build a... Uh, what is it called? A spaceship console? Uh, in that space, it crashes. So watch out for that. But I think it's worth the price of admission. All good then, indeed. Let's go grab ourselves some... I don't think we brought this many bulk rail loaders. Uh, we need some LTN train stops. Some wind turbines if we've got them lying around. Seems useful. Yeah, it's great. I love it. Do I have wind turbines here? I 
do? Oh, we automated it. Fantastic. And then loaders. No results. Train stop. There's two chests. And we've got exactly 11 of them. We're one shot. Um, I might get the cannon things working before I bother with the mineral water. What else am I missing at the moment? Signals. That's the main thing. Oh, there's none... We already went through all the signals that we brought. Okay. I think we need to automate this. Uh, uh, electronic circuit and iron plate. I could just use bots for the moment. I think I will. I'll set up a auto crafter in the near future. But for now... This will be fine. I could probably turn on my personal logistics again. Do we have it? Oh. But sneaky. Stop, stop, stop. Give it back. No. Oh. Do we have a storage chest somewhere? Yeah, we do. signal's not getting made because we don't have iron plate in a passive. Why is there no iron plate here? Oh. Oh, our little iron mine is actually empty. Look at that. I didn't think it would come to this. At least not now. Don't have power here. There we go. Okay. We do have a bunch of iron though. What if I just put RoboPorts over here and make this a passive? Alright. Give me some signals. Let's go place some stuff, if only to make room in my inventory. Away we go. Fantastic. Can we make another... one of these? Glass, iron, and copper. Easy enough. How many more loaders are we looking for? Thirteen. That's basically just iron at this point. Iron is and that's five. Iron plate. Iron plate. Six, seven. Uh, give me some room. All right. And give those back. 
We also need another... We need a little bit of glass so that we can make a lamp. So that we can make our... Uh, uh, train stops. We also need copper. Oh, come on. There we go. Hurry up, little bot. Need to make some more pulverizers. Well, it's not really a need at this point. And we should already be out of signals. I will not say fantastic this time. Um, it looks like we can easily fit our trains here. And same thing on the other side. Alright. Water, uh, sorry, mineral water goes here. And let's do it from this side as well. It doesn't reach as much as I would like it to. There we go. I think we need a substation here, not just for the power, but so that this will reach. Standard pickup and mineral water. And let's get some power over here. Oh, it all fits on, it almost all fits on one uh, substation. Unfortunate. Let's just put these here. It's actually just a pair of substations for that whole thing. And over here as well. We're going to need one more down here. Har Harren, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Currently experiencing issues with the wrong fluids going to the wrong station with LTN? Uh, I don't know. Depends on a lot, actually. Donian, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so we want this to be iron ingots. Uh, provider... Let's just copy this down, and we'll edit it a bit more easily. We need a signal transmitter. For that, I need some batteries. That's why I'm converting to vanilla. Uh-oh. It is possible to have the pumps uh, check which fluid is in the train and only pick up something appropriate. You can use the vanilla part of the station, or you can use the LTN train stop output uh, to look for that. What am I coming here for? Batteries, so that we can make our signal trans... transceiver? Signal Transporter. Transmitter. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay. Uh, we've got batteries in a couple of places here. Fantastic. My inventory is full. That's not fantastic. Uh, I need to make more room for signals. Gimme, gimme. 
Oh wow, that was that was fast. I did not expect quite so many signals just yet. Hmm. Let me set this up to feed both types of uh both types of signal. Logistic network, signal less than 500. Same thing, but signal less than... Okay. Tried filtering the pump, but not sure what's going on. Yeah, I couldn't really comment without seeing it. I've never had that problem myself. Arithmetic combi? Wait, what? Alright, let's hurry up over here. Get these signals placed. set this as I. Oh right, we need our signal transmitter. Um, we're only doing like one or two cannons for each chest, so we're really not going to need a complicated system here. We're just going to read all of the delivery cannon chests. I was just thinking about wire crisscrossing, but that's not going to be a problem. Uh, we're going to have the bulk rail loaders, but not the delivery cannon chests, read by LTN. Should be fine. And the chests just connect like this. Uh, we will need some some combinator in the meantime. And I've actually got a rather unfortunate wiring situation here. Uh, there isn't really anything I can piggyback off of unless... Would it be wrong... Would it be wrong to piggyback off... Oh, it doesn't even reach. Well, that's that idea. I could piggyback off the logistic train stop output. I think bad things would probably happen if I did that. Quite likely. Uh, even without thinking it through. Hey, Andy. Doing good? Chilling to t Hex's voice. Thank you. Gentle mad scientist, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's point six treating you? Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, so we want to send a positive signal for any resource that is uh low enough. So we're gonna have a constant combinator. No rocket science. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, ingot. Hmm. If iron ingot is below X, iron ingot. No, this is so much simpler than what I usually do. If if we don't care too much about the different stack sizes and, and we don't care about like filling up the delivery cannon chest as well as the bulk rail loaders, which I don't think I do. 
Oh, I know why I was going to do the constant combinator. Um, we're just going to say... If we don't detect anything in the delivery cannon chest for a certain resource, we're going to request that resource. And to do that, uh, we need to go from a zero signal to something. So that's what the constant combinator is for. And we're just going to say uh, each equal to one output each. Input count or one makes no difference. Uh, so we're sending all three types of ingots, uh, coal, uranium, What else was there? Heat shield LDS. Uh, I don't think I can remember the rest without peeking. Rare metals, concrete, and stone brick. Rare metals, concrete. Stone brick. Hi there, hello to you. Uh, this thing is still charging. Are we not connected to the main network? We're not. We're just running off of a few... Uh, a few wind turbines at the moment. I was gonna say, I didn't think a few wind turbines would give us 10 megawatt, which is why the electricity... Despite the fact that it looks like it's charging, it's actually just sort of giving up um, once it reaches 100%. So let's go over here and connect our power grid. We've already got 9k, 10k mineral water. 468 per second. Fantastic. Alright. We're going to set this to Hagen. And back on Alvis. I might just set another shortcut for this area. Uh, create a new pin. And then... No, hot, no shortcut hockey. Hagen. And then... It's Right, so if I go control one, there we go. Alright, so we're going to set these two targeted to Hagen. Uh, it's already got its energy. That's good. This is going to be iron. And the signal that we're looking for is iron ingot. Greater than zero. Before we put in our delivery cannon capsules. Switch that on. And it should work the moment we set this thing. Uh, once we connect this. And there it is. There's our ingots. Alright, so next is copper ingot. And I think all we need to do is... Same thing again. There are ways I could do this a little faster, but it makes me slightly nervous that uh, we'll send something to the wrong place or something. Let's switch that on. And we should... Oh, wait. Copper ingot. Copper ingot. So these are going to keep firing until there's some iron ingots detected in the delivery cannon chest itself. Um, continuously. 
full grid, but don't these tiles feel a bit small with stations taking up 60% of the space? You merge them sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the roundabouts are bi-directional. Uh, you can see that's flashing there because we don't have the signal. Uh, the trains go one way on the straight rails, but on the roundabouts they can go clockwise or counterclockwise. So a train can come in to here, straight off this roundabout, um, or to here. The trains go both ways, uh, so we, we can use a very small amount of space for a train stop. And if we want to get fancy, we can do multiple resources dropped off at one train station, uh, which is actually shockingly easy to do with bulk rail unloader, because it's got just a little bit more storage space than if you had six chests for each cargo wagon. Uh, you can only load one resource at a time if you're using the bulk rail loader, so fancy loading stations are still going to need inserters. Um, but you can actually do lots of stuff with an unloader. It is extremely convenient. And it makes for some really nice clean builds, which should be a lot less UPS intensive than the fancy stations that I built last time. Oh, I forgot. Um, I might want to stop asking for iron ingots. Because we still haven't gotten any steel. Oh, there it is. There's our first train load of steel, probably. How much? I think I calculated we get multiple train loads from one delivery of... It wasn't one delivery of molten iron, it was one delivery of pyroflux. It actually makes a ton of molten iron. Considering how often... Uh, well, not how often, but how quickly when it does happen. How bursty this is with delivering from here to here. Uh, maybe in this case I should just connect these directly. And, we'll, and we won't bother with the train uh, for the fluid. But I designed this so that we could put uh, the steel smelting wherever we want. Well, we don't have a Spidertron or something uh, to, up to update that now, so I guess we'll just leave it as it is. Uh, but yeah, that should be our first train load of steel. Uh, even though this is saturated, I think I did fix the logic so that we should get some balancing of priority. We're not letting ingots through here unless there's enough for a train to pick up some molten iron and then some. Considering how quickly it fills when we do get pyroflux, I think I'll just set this number higher. So there has to be... Also, how quickly can we consume it here? Uh, 1.2k per second. Sure. We'll set this to 100k. So a train will have uh, 50 seconds to pick up... Well, no, it won't quite work that way. Even so, I want to make sure we actually get steel before iron is completely saturated. They're great. Indeed they are. Even for all of these casters, uh, we're only getting 2.4 steel ingots per second. So it's going to be a little while before we do get our first train load. Um, but yeah, I think, I think we're okay to let iron ingots get delivered. So this one's going to be steel. We're not going to see it working just yet. Oh, need to go to Hagen. 
right about here. Uh, switch that on, actually. And this is steel ingot greater than zero. Fantastic. Uh, raw metals greater than zero. Heat shield. Oh, we already did this. LDS. Stone brick. Concrete and coal. Oh, also the uranium. It's going to be a while before we see that uranium. Okay, now for the actual cannons. Uh, so this is going to be steel. This is going to be rare metals. Double check that. That's going here. Fantastic. Maybe I could make them synchronize. Oh. Oh, they're still going. Yeah, I would like it if they're synchronized. Right, once that's fully charged, uh, then we can request our metals again. Beautiful. Uh, what's this one going to be? Heat shield LDS. Are these two? LDS. Um, I kind of want to turn this off until... We're ready to fire. Hagen. Wait, what? Uh, heat shield? Goes here. Oh, it's already got some in there. Well, these aren't going to be in sync anyway. There's only one of them for each. LDS. Uh, where are we going? Stone brick. Wait, I feel like... I feel like I counted wrong with the number of stations we're going to need here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, that's right. All right, so stone brick concrete goes up here. Stone brick. Concrete. I would love to copy paste these settings, but we've already got items in the delivery cannon that are going to get vomited onto the ground. I do that. Concrete and go. Fantastic. 
Next is coal. Wait, we are going to run out of... No, we're not. Dab. Actually, coal is going to be the highest throughput one, so I'll put it down here. How do you output to the bulk rail loader? Uh, with bulk loaders and unloaders, if you put a chest uh, within a certain space, I think it's wherever you see the... Uh, it, it's it's right next to the corners, wherever you see this um, grey brick looking stuff, but it's not like on top of the loader. Uh, if I put a chest there, the bulk rail loader will automatically output to this chest. So if I put a delivery cannon chest right between these two, um, it just evenly outputs to both of them. It's not perfect because the stack size isn't one for the invisible inserters that are doing this work. Um, but it should be perfect if we send it full stacks, which we cannot help but do with delivery cannons. Nice, didn't know, indeed. It's very handy. Look at how neat this is. Alright, so coal is going to Hagen. This is the number one reason we're doing this. Close enough. Alright, so that is coal. And these two are going to be 235 and 238. So this is 235 right next to me. What? This one. We don't actually have any 235 or 238 yet. Just have to trust that that is working. 238 goes here. I think I can see the player character there. Okay. Alright then. Have we actually already... S there's no way we've already sent the iron. Delivery... And then... Perhaps you'll... Oh, did I switch this off or something? Yeah, I did. Alright, here comes a lot of cannon shells. Beautiful. Oh, and we have steel ingots. Isn't that nice? Cool. Alright, I think we'll take a break there. Um, I'll just check nothing's melting on Nalvis. Kills. Uh, the biters hit a wall eight and a half hours ago. I think we're okay. Uh, I'll do a save here real quick. Let's get some words on stream. And some LTN screensaver. Hey, WestDX. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, did I do the link? I don't think I did the link.
Words on stream time, and yeah, considering some station ears. Interesting. Alright, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Fantastic. One more and we'll get back to Essie. Fantastic. All right, let's continue, shall we? And we need to investigate what on earth has happened with our power back on Nalvis. Uh, it probably has something to do with the fact that we just started spamming delivery cannons. But the power... Uh, the power usage that I saw didn't quite look like... Okay. I think... I think we may be drawing power a little bit too quickly from our delivery cannons. What was the orange U? I don't know. Oh, rogue letter. Mikey, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so here's the thing. I don't know what I can do about this. Uh, now that I've come to Hagen. I mean, obviously I could manually disconnect power from the delivery cannons. I don't particularly want to do that. Um... It doesn't seem like we're losing charge on our defense installations. Um, our laser turrets should be working just fine. Are we going to be losing steam, though? Why are the steam turbines not running? Did I not actually reconnect this? Oh, right. Because the steam turbines are on their own power network. I think what I might do for the moment is... Did I get rid of a power pole? Uh, do I not have an easy way to reconnect this? How about... Not go any further. Um... I could pick a dollies this up if I disconnect this wire. And we should hopefully be able to connect that there. Fantastic. So we're going to use our reserve steam, at least for now. We've got a lot of it. Like, a lot, a lot of it. Wow, what is this? What is going on with our power? Um, 
that's different. I believe it's because the electric boilers are switching on and off and on and off. Why would they do that? Oh, 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 I see. I think it's going to remain that way until we get more accumulated charge, which isn't happening. Yeah, I, I did a condition that bypasses the latch earlier on in case the accumulated charge gets low enough. So the power switch was actually flicking on and off uh, ridiculously quickly. Alright, that's no good. Let's not have the steam turbines powering their electric boilers. Instead... Um, I think... I think we can probably find a way to make our power reach across here. I really wish we had spider trunks. How about a mini spider tron just for construction? Something like that for the early game would be lovely. Okay. And I think we could probably still have this connection here. Also, that's a power switch on the ground. Um, now, that's what we're looking for. Alright, so we've got a ton of stored power. Oh, wow. Didn't we have 48k a minute ago? Uh, our delivery cannons might be even more power hungry than I realized. There's a spiderling mod if you'd like. Hmm. I don't really want to cheat, if that makes sense. It's those gosh darn cannons, it really is. Uh, I really underestimated how much power they would cost overall. And I could easily set up, like, an accumulator so that we don't give them resources or something unless it's fully charged. But I have to go back there to do that. Alright, we have 6.4 million steam. That is many times more than we need for a CME. So hopefully that'll at least let us run our supply our delivery cannons for a while. Um, so what's next then? What are those shooting at? They are sending resources to these chests right here. AI Collector. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What should we build next? Uh, how much Pyroflux do we get on this planet? Approximately zero? Yeah, we get even less than on Nalvis. So I don't think we'll be doing uh, molten. I don't think we'll be doing ingots here for quite a while, not till we get it from another planet. I guess we just start building it out and as if we're starting over. So all of the steps that lead to rocket science. Let's go. Um, we're going to need a storage block because we're going to have to deal with some vanilla core fragments. Collector, thank you for the follow. Thanks for streaming. Thank you. I mean, you're welcome. I wish I was this good at the game. 
It's just practice and learning. It takes a long time. Um, did I ever make a... I don't think I ever made a proper finished blueprint of this. I'm just thinking about... I could probably go for the exact same thing, though. Because the amount of uranium get from that we get from the infinite sources, at least for now, is still going to be very small. Malakes, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You know what? We don't need to worry about that until we've got quite a lot of vanilla core fragments that have been processed. And that is going to take its sweet time. We do have lots and lots of cryonite powder. I think I switched off... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I stopped the core mining drill because we had power problems. But we should have more than enough now. Um, it's probably jumping the gun, but I really feel like doing a cryonite processing block. Didn't we already design it? Let's see. Cry your night. Here we go. Uh, I'd better I'd better take a peek at it in our editor because. All right, so we take in cryonite powder. We make crystals, we use the crystals and powder and heavy oil. Yeah, that should be what we're looking for. Okay, cool. Let's put it right here, nice and close to the cryonite core fragments. We need to get rid of that rail, actually, because of how bulk loaders work. And let's get started building. I'll need to do an area to process the ingots as well. Can we do ingots directly into much? Not really. We need iron ingots for prod science. But that's about it. So as far as we're concerned here, we're just going to be turning ingots into plate. Maybe I should have left room to do that here, but whatever, it's fine. Maybe I should make it the norm to transport ingots? I don't know, plate is still pretty dense. It's a bit less hassle in each rail block if we deal with plate. Then again... I guess it depends on the build. How much room we've got. We usually transport iron plate, not iron sticks. Um, because it's super easy to keep up with a build if we have an assembler on the spot. We might find the same sort of thing applies for some builds, but not others, depending on the throughput. I have trouble deciding when to start building city blocks in vanilla SE. I guess after first SE rocket launch. Also have to figure out the city block. Yeah, it's really... Uh, it really kind of depends. I did it after, after launching some rockets. Uh... And the further you go, the more you're going to have to, like, redo things that you've already done as you get the rail blocks going. But the longer that you wait, the better resource throughput you're going to have to help build it. So it's kind of a, 
uh, side grade kind of, you know, pick your poison kind of thing. I think I would like to get... Well, just for the fun of it, I want to finish this, this uh, Cry Knight build first. Whoops. And then we'll probably start with iron, gears, uh, small single cylinder engines and so on, which we've already built. We just have to place blueprints. We've already designed them, rather. There's another version of the game. Uh, the, the latest version of Space Exploration is 0 0.6. That's what we're on now. It is one of the main mods that T-Hex is playing, yes. Um, so Space Exploration uh, really kind of overhauls and adds a lot to the game. And I mean a lot, a lot. Alright, we need chemical plants. Chemical plants, red belt, underground pipe. A couple of boilers. We need heat shielding. I'll just steal some heat shielding from here. Even though it's going to imbalance things. Oh no. Uh, electric boiler. Now I need copper plate. Rip. That was kind of pointless. Uh, I will drop off the boiler that I do have. I already did that. I can't... Oh, I can handcraft a few of these. I'll do that. This version you're seeing now is space exploration. Yes. It's a lot more than vanilla. Last version with 0.5, I would have said the complexity curve, like after you get through sort of the vanilla part of the game, isn't that bad. But 0.6 definitely makes things a bit more tricky in a few places. SEK2 is pretty epic. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Use Mike. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Baruch Giza. Good to see, uh, see you again also. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we need Red Belt. Give me some of that. And chemical plants. Whoops. That doesn't go there. Chemical plant. Uh, where are our chem plants? Whoops. Well, they're probably in the same chest as the refineries. Except for that one. Don't tell me we only have three. Uh, chemical plant. There's 13 plus 10. Okay. Gimme, gimme. Wait, I thought you said 13 and 10. What the, was there another 10 in here? Or am I missing it? Did I misread it? Oh, here they are. If you didn't know circuits going in, you will at the end. This is pretty much true, yes. Um, it's hard for me to answer when someone says... When, when someone asks how much circuit knowledge you need to know uh, for, for SE, because with by the time I did my first playthrough of it, I took a lot of circuit knowledge pretty much for granted. So I don't know where exactly people would get stuck. 
Uh, we just need a bunch of underground pipes, I think. Quite a lot of them. You can learn it all while playing, surely? Yeah, I mean, it takes hundreds of hours um, to get through space exploration, so you're definitely going to have time to learn as you go. I think we've run out of underground pipes. The regular ones, anyway. Oh, we have them automated. Fantastic. They're just not in the robot network. Gimme, gimme. Now then, I think we... Uh, let's head over here first. I want this finished. I think we probably don't have... Oh, we don't have a single train yet. That's probably why. <laughs> That's probably why a train hasn't delivered any cryonite powder yet. I mean, there could be other reasons, but that, that, that'd be one of the main reasons. Alright, did we build this? Fantastic. Where should we put our depot? I'm thinking here would be good for our first depot. Or here even. Doesn't make that much difference. Uh, let's see. Depot, depot. LCCL depot, and I'll put the short train depot over here. LCL depot. We're going to need a little bit of landfill. See for cat. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Space. Uh, yeah, we're on a different planet from the starter planet. Engineers Fox, welcome, welcome. Obada, welcome also. Good to see you again. Uh, I think we placed all of those pipes. Let's get to building our depots. I think we don't need quite as much jetpack and a little bit more roboport would be good right now. Fantastic indeed. I love that long sea for cat emote. Um, I don't think I have any landfill handy. Do we have landfill on this planet? We do. Uh, how much? 100. That's not a whole lot. We'll need to get that automated relatively soon. I'm not planning on using slash needing a lot of landfill uh, just yet, but still. My eyes were not prepared for this game. Uh, how so? Don't look, see if the rails are straight here. What does that mean? Oh, does, has Sieve's current build got a lot of spaghetti rail? Very bright, yeah. Uh, Hagen is a bit... You know what? Maybe we should start paving the world. Maybe we should start paving the world really early this time. If I'm going to be super lazy about it, I do have stone brick coming in from Nalvis. But it takes an enormous, and I do mean an enormous amount, of stone brick or concrete or whatever. Um, it, it adds up very, very quickly. I think I added a block or... Where was it? Oh, here it is. Concrete box. Uh, it's not necessarily filling... Oh, here it is. 
4.6k concrete. Oh, it's actually like 11k concrete for each block. We could use stone temporarily. If I put this blueprint down on top of where I've put stone already. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, is it gonna work that way? Okay. Where's our blueprint? Concrete blocks. Um... This was supposed to include trees, but I haven't done that yet. What's the difference between these two? Block plus pi- oh, it's got pile and substations. And it does indeed overwrite the stone. Okay. So we could probably make things a bit more manageable to look at just by spamming stone in the meantime. We're still going to need an awful lot of stone. Not need a lot of landfill converts an entire planet. <laughs> The landfill production, <laughs> indeed. One thing I kind of don't like about SE is that all the logistics has a running cost. You want to send stuff to another planet, pay for a whole rocket. It does get easier. Uh, spaceships only cost fuel, basically. Um, we've got a stone mine, but it's not... It's not a very big and aggressive stone mine compared to what we're going to want. Knikiv Tlob, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Viking, who's Viking? It's Knikiv Tlob, obviously. How much stone do we have here? Uh, zero. Fantastic. Why don't I turn off my logistics, grab one of these chests, put everything... Wow, I can't quite fit everything in there. Okay. Fill the rest of my inventory with stone. Realize that I'm about to run out of fuel. And put a little bit of this back. Give me back my rocket fuel. Whoops. And then... Start making stone everywhere. How quickly is this going to run out? Not as quickly as I feared. We can somewhat finish a block with one inventory. Alright, let's go grab some more then. We should be able to do three or four or five blocks with the stone that we've already got. Oh wow. I don't know why, but I didn't expect it to run out that quickly. Lighted up my whole dark room? Yeah. Hagen be like that. I don't suppose there's some filters I can add that just do the equivalent of a limiter, for, but for brightness. One would think Twitch would include that. Daniel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so that's the end of our stone mine for the moment. 
We should be able to come back here quite soon for more, though. That's definitely easier on the eyes, I have to say. My lighting situation is suboptimal at the moment as well, so that's actually making a difference. Just put on my sunglasses, planet fixed. <laughs> Indeed. Alright, let's go grab rail. Especially while our inventory has so much space. And signals. And we're going to need some train stops automated. Um, stone brick, iron, steel, copper, glass. I think I can just handcraft a few more. I don't think we have rail automated, do we? And what else are we missing? Stone brick. Stone brick. Here it is. Uh, that's not much. I'll have to steal it from the rail network. We can already make... 11 of these. That's not as much as I thought. What are we missing? Copper. Give me some pre-made copper wire. 30. Fantastic. Okay. We've got rail, we've got signals, we're making train stops. And we've got no bots. Fantastic. Perfect. Engineers Fox, thank you for the follow. I think most of the environment is decided by the alien biomes mod in space exploration, with the resources having an influence. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of planet... Oh. 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 We've got some... We've got some rogue elements here. Let's remove our uh, our power poles, and we'll place this again. Nope. All right. So this was the short train depot. Uh, yeah, there's some, like, random generation, but also certain planets that just have certain characteristics, like Hagen is always an ice planet. I think you always find Hagen here, or I thought that was the case, and then maybe someone's playthrough didn't have Hagen in this spot. Uh, I can't quite remember. Give those back. I think we're going to run out of rail before we finish the depots. I have Hothia. Okay. We put the stone down immediately. That's going to make it so much easier to get stone out of my inventory um, for the foreseeable future. I'm surprised how much coal is in these rocks considering how barren Hagen is for coal specifically. We do have steel... 
Uh, we do have steel beams automated, and steel beams plus stone give us an easy uh, handcraft for rail. So it's probably not that bad yet. Signals go brr. Is Hothia Hothier than Hoth? Is it? Mark to Thel. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, we've still got signals. Amazing. Get in my inventory. There we go. Back to the depots. Mm, I don't think we're quite about to run out of rail. Need to go get a bunch of red belt though. supposed to be here? Uh, I think it was. Yeah, no, that looks right. Oh, we're still crafting stations? We actually didn't get enough stations. What else do I need? Steel and iron. And probably a lot of wire. Let's grab wire, iron, and steel. Uh, I know we brought more steel up here somewhere. Steel plate. Uh, we've got a hundred, a hundred and ten, eighty. Okay, nowhere near as much as I thought. We do have steel ingots that we can break down that are being sent continuously. I uh, don't want to turn logistics on again just yet. Oh, we've got more loaders here. Signals, red belt. Gonna need a lot more red belt. That's blue belt, whatever. Okay, how many different chests uh, do we have red belt in? Oh, only me. Right, I forgot. I only packed blue belt. Because red belt can be made just out of iron. Alright, once we get these depots done, I think it's high time we make an auto crafter. We're already out of fast undergrounds. I also need more substations. Probably should have built one of these depots first, huh? Oh, 
whoops, meat button. Give to me the power points. Um, inserters, chests. What else are we missing over here? I'm not too worried about the windmills right now. 116 fast undergrounds. Uh, that's a little bit of a problem. Let's automate it. It only needs iron, right? Yeah, good. We've got iron here. Um, but we haven't really... Oh, these inserters can't keep up. That would probably help. I think they still can't keep up. Yeah, we need stack inserters. Wow. I didn't realize that. Knight, are you in Australia? Yes, indeed. Engineers Fox, take care. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I didn't really leave room to get the iron out from here. I could maybe add another furnace. Since we're not, uh... We're not consuming everything on this belt yet. Oh. They delivered the furnace. How kind. Alright, so... What goes into... Red Belt? Should I just copy this? I don't see why not. Uh, let's edit it over here. What a mess. Uh, let's see. Power, so it stops flashing. And... Don't need power poles. Maybe I shouldn't have copy-pasted all this spaghetti. But the main layout of the belts, I definitely want that. So much spaghetti. Let's get rid of the blues. I'm not going to make those here. That's about it. Okay. Should all be in the robo network. I don't think we have wooden chests though. Let's just make those red. Do we have another robo port? I think we do. Uh, alright, so we need single cylinder gear, iron plate, iron beam. Wait, what? That's single cylinder, that's iron plate. Iron gear is up here. And it's just iron gear? I should have, like, copied... I, I, I should have done some, like... Item... What are they called? Infinity unloaders, so I could see what goes where. Alright, so this is just gears up here. This is just a uh, single cylinder. And this is just iron. 
Okay. another robot plot? That doesn't sound right. I brought 40. Oh, it's in a strong box. That makes sense. I'll go get it before I forget. And there's no reason why we can't have more instruction bots in the network. What else are we missing here? We got iron, we got... Someone should be... No, I was going to say someone should be bringing the robopod, that's not true. Now someone should probably be bringing the assembly machines. I know I saw them build those earlier. Amon Bra, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's get this over here. And we need gears. Uh, they're in kind of an awkward spot. We've got a lot of them, but... I don't see how I'm going to take them. Take them out of here. Uh, let's see. Unloader. Belt. And belt. Rainbow belt. Let's go. And this can go here. Is that... That's surely not everything we need for red belts. We need green circuits. Why can't I... Oh, my inventory's full. Green circuits. There should be a lot of them somewhere. Wait, no, I said it wouldn't be that difficult to manufacture them. How foolish. Enable, disable. The logic to insert one fuel cell to reactor when steam less than some number. Uh, yeah, we've got it up here. I haven't actually used this reactor yet, but... Basically, when steam drops below some number, instead of that condition going directly to our inserter, we're going to uh, we're going to have that condition to enable our let's call it outserter. So when we take when steam is below forty five k, we're going to take uh, a uranium fuel cell, a used up one, out of the reactor. And that's going to read hand contents. Um, and when that is detected, we're going to put in one and exactly one uh, uranium fuel cell. You will need to give it a signal of used up uranium fuel cell to get it started. That's why it's not working right now. Um, and I don't want to use any fuel. I don't have that much uh, until we need more power. Um, so that's basically it. Oh, we've already got red belts. Fantastic. Um, I see why this didn't get built. And... 
it looks like that's everything question mark oh we're, we're missing a chest uh let's just make that a steel chest and now we can get undergrounds all right it won't be the fastest thing in the world but uh that will give us some red belts still still don't get how it works um we're reading hand contents from the inserter that takes out a used up uranium fuel cell and only inputting when that used up uranium fuel cell is detected and from there you can put the condition uh, on the inserter that takes out of the reactor instead of the one that puts into the reactor. Alright, so how much red belt do we need here? 116 undergrounds is the main thing. Can I prioritize the undergrounds somehow? I could limit this a lot more severely, that would help. over here. You can have your red belt. Wait, how much is it? Ten. So five for each underground. Alright, cool. We're getting there. Um, let's just leave that going for a bit. before we come back to finish uh, the depots. Oh, it's actually just this one. And you're telling me this needed a hundred and... Wow, that's a lot. 130... something. How does this block have an odd number of underground belts? Uh, something must be wrong there. Let's check the blueprint. 144, 133. Oh no. Uh, let's have a peek over here. It's going to be a bit clearer. Somehow we have an odd number of undergrounds here. Let's just remove each pair as we find them. Or maybe I should blueprint an area until I find an odd number. That didn't take long. 35... 34... 35... Uh, no, that makes sense. 56... 64, 68, 70... 77? So this side should have an even number. 26... 14, 21. Okay, it's around here somewhere, I think. Uh, I don't think it's going to be that much easier to find it that way. Let's just do this. 
It must be done. Is this it? That must be it. Okay, let's... Let's start over. Remembering where that was. This one right here. Because it was copied from over here. Okay, we got there eventually. Uh, select new contents, can we do that? I think we can, because the only rail, the only bulk rail loader is north-south, so it should not have a problem with that. Yeah, it still works. And now we have 132. Fantastic. Okay. Definitely worth it. Last one was it. Yes, indeed. I've never seen this channel, weird as I've been looking around Factorio videos for years. Uh, which channel? Oh, I see. How do you split so that it occurs evenly across all the reactors? Or does it just do one cell in each reactor at the same time? Yeah, it's synchronized. That's why we're doing it based on the output. Michael Hendricks. Okay. Repetitive Beats. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There we go. Much better. Uh, and we're going to need how many more? Undergrounds? 85. Approximately. Albait. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We've got 46, and it looks like things have slowed down. We've... wow. We had an entire chest full of uh, iron gear wheels, and now they're gone. Okay, then. I'll feed it a bit more iron directly. But once I've once I do that, we'll make our auto crafter. Actually put all of this iron in this chest. Oh, I've got a bunch of gears as well. That'll certainly help. All right. Let's go make our auto crafter. And I think I'll put it up here. Do we have any big chests? Like a big requester chest would be nice. I don't think we do. Let's see. Whoa. No flamethrower. We've only got one by one chests. So we're not going to be able to do a nice spacious requester chest for everything. So we're going to have to do it like vanilla. We're going to have an assembly machine. 
give me all of this. Not all of that. Maybe a little bit less belt. Give this back. Not that. All right. Assembler. Should probably make a tier three. Yeah, it's not even difficult right now. We're going to need a crafting combinator. We're going to need requester chests, which in this case means buffer chests, because that's all we've got. We need an active provider chest for the output, and a crafting combinator goes here. Behind right is going to be our overflow chest, so whenever it swaps recipes and dumps resources, it's going to go into here. We're going to have a stack inside of input and for output. We'll have some static uh, requesters just to provide common resources. Like iron plate, iron gear. I'll, I'll have more than one thing in each chest, but I'll try and make it so that we don't have as much overlap, if that makes sense. Get some power over this way. We need to read from a roboport so that we know what the robot network has. We need to do a little each greater than zero. Output each so that it doesn't feed us negatives when the bots are moving stuff around. We then need to multiply that by negative one because we're going to be subtracting what is in the robot network from a list of stuff that we want, which is going to be on constant combinators. So constant combinators. Maybe I shouldn't build this right here. I'm going to end up wanting to landfill it or something, but I want to put it close to all of this stuff. I could maybe move the landing pad a bit. Alright, so we've got plenty of room to add constant combinators here for our list of things that we want to craft. We'll need a recipe combinator. And that's just going to have default settings, I think. I think I'd like... Uh, I've thought about this before, and I keep running into the same problems. There's multiply results by input count. So if you're telling it that you want to craft 10 iron gear wheels, it will give you a signal of 10 iron plate, but with certain recipes, with how expensive they are, the way it scales is it completely overfills a chest. Uh, so you would think, okay, what if we, what if we like normalize this to something or other? Actually, why don't we, why don't we try like normalizing the output from the recipe combinator. So we're going to go decide a combinator, each greater than zero, output each times one, as in the constant one, not the input count, and then we'll multiply that by something, say a hundred. I don't think any inputs are going to have a stack size so small that it would ha it would have to be a stack size of one 
Does anything with a stack size of one have... go into any recipes? I don't think so. What's the difference between a buffer and a requester? A requester chests can request from buffer chests. Um, but you can set them not to. So if you look at the art in uh, in the research tree for the logistics system, these arrows actually perfectly describe how all of these chests work. Buffers also count as being in the network. Yeah, requester chests... Uh, when something is in a requester chest, as far as the logistic network is concerned, it's not in the logistic network anymore. Um, it is a dead end after all. Nothing comes out of the requester chest, at least not by bot. Hey man, how's it going? Pretty good, thanks. Doxilos, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's put a substation here, and so we're just going to get arbitrarily a hundred of whatever this is requesting. So on our constant combinators, we're going to have positive values for whatever recipes we want. We're subtracting what's already in the robot network and feeding it to a recipe combinator. Uh, one little tip with the recipe combinator is... Let's just disconnect that for a second. Uh, unlike every other combinator in existence, if you mouse over it, you can't see that it's outputting. So if I set this to iron gear wheel, it is you can't see it, but it's actually outputting iron plate. Uh, you can see it if you connect it to a power pole. Wait, what? Find ingredients. I oh oh oh, it's taking thirty seconds. That's why. For a couple of reasons, I've set uh, the crafting combinator mod to only refresh every thirty seconds or something. So there it is, um, five second, or f is it five seconds? It's half a second. Five crafting time and one iron plate is what this is outputting, but you can't actually see it. Just with the mouse over. Um, so we're going to connect that like so. If we have positive values, set them to one and then multiply them by a hundred. And... Therefore, request 100 iron plate. So we're just gonna... Wait, I said... I, I, connect, I connected that wire wrong. Um, we're going to use this as our set requests on the buffer chest. And we're going to connect the output from... The, res uh, the recipe combinator. No, that's not right. We're going to connect this green wire right here straight to uh, the crafting combinator as well. But it's going to be kind of hard to read if I do that. I'll put red wires here. Incidentally, that's a good way to multiply things by two, whether you mean to or not, without adding a... Uh, Arithmetic Combinator. So now our signal of Iron Gear Wheel is being sent to the Crafting Combinator, as well as the Recipe Combinator. Make it a bit more visible if I do something like... How can I move? Oh, we can't use... We can't use Picker Dollies to rotate this. Okay, let's do this. That's going to be a lot more readable, right?
great for the upgrade planner, etc. What's that? If you want to, you can remove the time value by multiplying it by zero. Uh, yeah, I'm not worried about the time value. Um, it doesn't really... We're not using it. It's fine. Oh, time multiplier. That's why we got 5 instead of 0.5. Because we can't use decimals with... Um, uh, with combinators. So, now that we've got iron gear wheels in the logistic network, more than one, in fact, once it refreshes, it's going to stop making iron gear wheels. I could probably just change the mod to update more quickly while we're explaining this, but it should kick in in a couple of seconds. Actually, no, it's not going to do that because I didn't reconnect this. We can actually see the input here. Or if I connect this green wire to our substation, how about just to avoid the spaghetti, connect it over here. Any positive numbers on on this big electric pole uh, will be what we're trying to craft. So the negatives are all what we've actually got in the logistic network. Assuming that we don't have a request for them. Alright, so... What the... What? What? What the... Why are we... Cargo rocket silo? Hello? How did this happen? I thought the crafting combinator doesn't respond to negative signals. Crafting combinator refresh rate back to one second. That's interesting. Crafting combinator. Constant combinator. Cargo. I, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Anything. Iron gear, negative one. It does? Did they change that? Or did I just forget that I normally run this through an each greater than zero? Before we get to the recipe combinator. Wait, can I set it to ignore negatives? Like in the mod settings? Crafting combinator. No, it's only the it's only the refresh rate. Hmm. That's weird. Okay then, we'll have to add yet another combinator. Each greater than zero output each input count. And that green wire right there. The output from that is all the things we're trying to craft. Your blueprint had anything greater than zero. Yeah, because... Because we were using more than one machine. So we have a series of... I think it's three combinators. Um, let's go over to the editor to demonstrate this. Signal separator. Here we go. So here we have a bunch of signals. Let me get some power. I guess just a simulator right there. Uh, we've got a bunch of signals and we want to arbitrarily separate them. We go anything greater than zero output, anything input count. Uh, and we can take that away to use it as we will. Uh, so we're outputting fish from this one. And then we multiply the fish by negative one. And then... 
connect that output to all of this. And then basically do the same thing again. Uh, and then we've got this combinator here is basically just a one-way wire slash keeps the signal timing the same as it propagates down this way. It's just each times one output each. Uh, so that gets... That, that combinator there gets all of this minus the fish and passes it on to the next one. And we just repeat the process over and over. So we got fish, wood, coal, plastic, and so on. And you can see each of these combinators has fewer and fewer uh, inputs from the original list. Um, this is why I had the anything greater than zero, because... Because we're setting this up to use multiple machines with crafting combinators to craft one recipe each out of all the things we're trying to make. Um, I don't remember, though, if the solo one had... Let's see. That's our timer. Don't need to worry about that. Actually, maybe we do. Where's the connection from the Robocorn? Is this busted? Oh, this was like a one-off. This was an on-demand. Yeah, we have a memory cell here. This is different. This is like, please make 10 chemical plants just once. Uh, this one. Separate that out. Oh, I did have an anything. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, I guess maybe I should use anything here. I don't know that there's any difference if we use each. Okay. So, what was the first thing we had in mind? That was like, oh, that's a pain, I should make an auto-crafter. Uh, good question? Oh, I know. Train stops. LTN train stops. For that, we're going to need some prerequisites. And it looks like the lamp might, by default, be a lower priority than the LTN train stop. We'll see. Train stop. Let me make the crafting combinator mod more responsive for the moment. So we'll go for 10 train stops and then 10 logistic train stops. Actually, What's the maximum that I need at once? About... 20? Let's just go for 30. Bots should be bringing... We need iron sticks first. I don't know if iron stick is going to come out before train stop. Yeah, it's not. There's a couple of ways we can go about prerequisites. We can have a decider combinator for each rule. Like, if iron stick is less than x, uh, don't make uh, logistic train stops. Oh, I think I came up with a better idea. The other rule I was going to describe is like... All of our prerequisites bundled together, and we have to have every prerequisite built before we make anything that needs prerequisites. This takes the fewest combinators to do the most. But obviously it's not the most efficient way to do things. 
uh, in terms of crafting. But what I was thinking, or realizing actually, I kind of already set this up but didn't realize it. So here we have reading from the robot network. If artillery turret is less than 10, output explosive cannon shell input count. Oh. I was going to say I could make that an everything and have all of this stuff on a constant combinator, all of the prerequisites for artillery turret. However, it's the green wire is going to include everything from the robot network. So I think what I would have to do instead is uh, read from the robot network. Hold on. I think it's easier than I thought. You probably maybe do it with the same number of combinators. Just copy this over to the editor, but we'll work with something. Actually, no, start from scratch. If if train stop, no. If uh, what's our prerequisites for train stop? Oh, good, I can't see. Train stop. Stick, electronic circuit, iron plate, steel plate. If stick, less than... Iron stick. It is called an iron stick, right? Yeah. If iron stick is less than something or other... We want to output negative train stop, so we're not trying to make train stops. I think I was thinking of this backward, like I could check for train stop and if no train stop signals for all the others. No, we, we have to start with... Oh, how about... Hmm... The problem is... The each and anything signals... Uh, each, everything, and so on... Getting from the robot network at the same time gives us a bunch of signals we don't want when we try to make a certain comparison or pass a, bun a certain set of signals through. I'm getting carried away. Let's do something productive. I'll come back to that. Uh, we were trying to make train stops, but we ran into problems with the prerequisites. Uh, we need iron stick. We're going to need lamps, uh, or the logistic train stops. Glass and wire is on its way. The other thing we need is electronic circuit, iron plate, steel plate. I don't think we actually have EC. So, stone, tablet, electronic, 
circuit. I think here we have to say recipe electronic circuit. Oh, there's only one. Wait, what? There should be two because we have two recipes for it. There's one with the wood. I imagine it's gonna pick the stone one implicitly, but... No, that's the wood one. Well, we could take wood from here. But it's supposed to be an even ratio. Oh, we have wood here. Electronic circuit. I'm guessing the recipe electronic circuit is the one without wood. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Recipe electronic circuit. Uh, what else was there? That's basically it. Lamp, red wire, green wire. Means we need... Wire. And wire. And I'd prefer to have more than a couple... ...ready to go. Tried to make yesterday's stream, but passed out. Rip. Uh, Savi the Fox, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so what's our target? 200. We've got that. Why are we still crafting green circuits? Oh, because we're not reading from the robot network? But we are, though. 1.1k green circuit. Oh, I think I understand. Recipe electronic circuit is not the same as green circuit. Yeah, normally I wouldn't use a crafting combinator for this. Let's just use green circuit with the wood recipe. We can put some wood in, uh, in a red chest. We could work around that, but this is so much easier. And the whole point of the uh, auto crafter right now is it's quick and easy and convenient to get certain things automated. You got that radio voice, bro? Thank you. Just lurking in chat? Fair enough, that's valid. Keelix, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Does that mod combinator change an item signal into a recipe signal? There are some cases, like with green circuits, where there's like multiple recipes to get to the same thing, for example. Or there's like recipe... I don't know when you would use this, but we've got signals like recipe, delivery, cannon, capsule... Oh yeah, no, that's... Uh, if you use a crafting combinator pointed at a delivery cannon, it won't do anything if you set it to green. Uh, if you set it to iron plate, but if you set the signal to recipe delivery cannon capsule iron plate, uh, it will set the recipe so that it will send that resource basically. I think I am, and yourself? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, so we should have... You know what, we probably don't need to accumulate this much wire. Make a few train stops. Let's just go 50 and 50. And now we're on to stone tablets. Actually, we probably don't even need any stone tablets, but... 
It's happening so quickly, I don't even care. Okay. So now we should have all of our prerequisites for train stop. I'm going to be lazy and probably not set up a system for prereqs. As long as we don't actually run out of them, uh, this will be fine. Although, I guess that would demand 60 wire of each type. So this should actually be like 100. How much... how many sticks do we go through? Six times thirty? That's uh, more than expected. Hundred and eighty. And one lamp. One constant combinator. Okay. I should really do a final build or crafting combinators with prerequisites, even though I've only come up with one way to do it that doesn't end up needing a million combinators, and I don't love how it works. But it would be lovely just to be able to slap it down. If you pass all your requests into that combinator, then output is all the prerequisites. If so, then you can check less than or equal to all prerequisites. Uh, so basically the anything signal just outputs like the first signal in an arbitrary order. A lot of the time, like with inserters or furnaces or drills, um, those signals happen to come out in an order that suits us. Um, so that we don't need any extra logic to deal with the prerequisites. But with stuff like everything under the manufacturing tab, I think comes after everything in these tabs. So we're going to run out of... If we don't have a, enough iron stick, for example, before we start making these, we're going to run out. So that combinator, yeah, the anything combinator picks one signal at a time. I think the recipe combinator probably does the same thing. This could probably just say each, but maybe I had a reason uh, for picking anything as well. So I'll leave that be. Oh, I forgot. Um, we want, because this is eventually going to get full, we want to have a, uh, an inserter that will take, let's just turn it away for the moment, whatever is supposed to be in this, um, chest, we're going to set this to blacklist, although it can only fit four. So it should, for the most part, get rid of anything that isn't part of the current recipe. Otherwise we'll eventually run out of space here. With uh, K2 we've got four slots for filters on a, a stack filter inserter. But normally you would probably have to, uh, instead of using blacklist, you'd have to sort of subtract and figure out what is supposed to be in here. Or rather, like, get, a, get positive signals for what's not supposed to be in here. And set this to whitelist. Oh, wait, this is throwing sticks out. Yeah, yeah, no, we're going to need to do exactly that. Okay, so... 
except I can't read contents and set requests at the same time. Hmm. That's a problem. I think this is actually the best we can do. I could set... I, I, I could use like a stack size 1 filter inserter so that it can't take resources that are supposed to be in here out faster than the machine can use it. I guess that's the best we can do. Alright, so that's our train stops anyway. What should we do next? We should have enough red belt to finish our depot. That's probably not enough red belt to finish our depot. Let's give it all the red belt. Does this need an upgrade? No, the insert is keeping up. How about this? That's a bit better. That's going to be the main bottleneck for our belts. Oh, that's... That's already another 50. Wow. Okay. Let's go place some more stone as well. And I should really reactivate this. I've been neglecting to place our wind turbines. Go grab some. Oop. Are we done? We're missing nothing but wind turbines. Fantastic. I keep flying too high or too far north. I get here. Let's go get stone. Oh, wait. I need to, like, make a ton of room in my inventory for that. Don't forget the fuel. Gimme gimme. Near Zerk. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, the mod settings wrong. Let me fix that real quick. The mod command. Uh... Also, you can always type Factorio mods. And also, you can always scroll down. I'd love to automate this. As in, detect what game I'm playing and have, diff have one command to do different things. I just never remember to do it when I've got time. Listening in and such, but am watching between eating and letting my pie base run for a bit. Indeed. I just saw the description. Fair enough. Let's get some more stone. Rampant? I actually removed Rampant. Mass Lander, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I had to remove Rampant yesterday because UPS went from 60 to 20 in about a minute. Uh, Voigt. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Oh, did we actually mostly finish putting stone here? That's a good start. Is 
It's still in the list, yeah. Okay. We paving this planet in cobblestone? Yeah, people commented on Owl My Eyes because Ice Planet, which is fair enough, especially for myself as well. Uh, my lighting situation is suboptimal for the moment, so it helps me too. We are eventually going to pave the planet, but stone is a good cheap start. And we do get the stone back when we replace it, I think. Where are my bots? Oh, I don't have them. Fair enough. Get back over here. Nice. Maybe I should get colored concrete. We could have different colors for different things. Make it all a bit more easily recognizable what a place is for. Give me back my stuff. Thank you. What was next? We don't have any iron gear wheels here. Wait, we should. Oh, are we not... Oh, that would be a good idea to include in the prereqs. It's actually surprisingly fast. This is just awesome. So my weapons delivery almost cleared out the Vita planet? Wow. Oh, weapons delivery. I thought someone earlier... I remember someone earlier was talking about using uh, resource delivery cannons to clear biters. Wait, why is my... Why am I requesting 40 furnaces? Get out of here. What's next? I really want to finish paving that. But, alas, not yet. We should probably get a train added to our... Um... Added to our train network, right? Locomotive is here. And for a second there, I thought a train was something that I was going to craft. We'll need to supply it with fuel. As in, more fuel than just a little bit to start with. I kind of want to take advantage of fuel that we're using for biomethanol. It's probably a bad idea. I could do it as a low priority output with the splitter. And just drag it down here until we get things a bit more organized. I think it would be better if it's at the end of the belt, though. Which means we're going to have to belt things further. Oh, I've got a blueprint for this. LCCL. That's... That's wrong. This is supposed to be a short train. Let's do the long trains first. They're sort of more important. I don't think I even have... A use for short trains yet. LCCL. 
Uh, how many do I have? I can make five trains. So we'll make three cargoes and two fluids. That doesn't look like it lines up properly. It's probably fine. Where's my cargo wagon? Oh, I only had five. There we go. So we could go priority split, belt this over, or rather turn it into processed fuel, and then belt it over. No bad? Wait, what? Oh, I see. Uh, we are going to need some fuel processors. I'm sure 10 is overkill, and I don't care. I know a red splitter is a bit of a waste here. Or is it? Should be slow enough that we can just do belts in the middle. Substation. Oh. oh wow, those have to be faster. Uh, you know what? I'm sure this is way more than enough for our trains. That's the main thing. perfect. Let me just measure this out. Oh, it's going into the iron mine. Never mind. And down here. And hopefully this is going to cross one off. You can't be serious. Blue belt down to here. Actually, that isn't going to work. We have to place this manually. There we go. That doesn't look right either. And there's our fuel. One off, indeed. Two fuel crafters got not belt connected. Alright, we'll see. Did I say hello to Veldek earlier? Or did you just show up? Or have you been lurking? I bet if I said words on stream earlier, someone would have had something to say about it. Also, I did this priority split wrong. I came in with Seif. Oh, yes. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Uh, this is suboptimal, but it's fine. As long as we have fuel for our trains. And now that I think of it... Um, I might just... 
do something similar over here. That's not quite going to work, is it? Here we go. Omit one feeder in the production of fuel for trains. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't fill both of these. It's fine. Lazy creature, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Until we get... Uh... Until we get fuel produced in the rail block, this will do. They've all got many products finished. Oh, I see. I'm surprised how many products that was able to finish, um, even though it couldn't output. Are we bottlenecked on... Yeah, we're going to be bottlenecked on the long arms, even if I change, uh, change it so we don't use yellow inserters. I'll just leave that as is. So now we have trains? Question mark. Don't see fuel in here just yet. We got three fuel in the first one of these trains. So we might want to leave that to run a little bit longer. Uh, there should be... Yeah, it's kind of saturating the first one still. Alright, that's fine. What are we building while we wait for that? Can I build this entire iron mine and fit the coal miner as well? Probably. I don't think I can. Yeah, I think... I think that tile of iron right there isn't reachable unless I cliff explode this. Oh, you can use a grenade. Um, but I'd rather not. I'd rather, like, take advantage of the, uh, core fragments. Oh, this is full? I, I guess it is. Huh. I could fill up this side as well. While we wait for our trains. Fracco, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Mr. Nafka, welcome, welcome. Also, the last fuel crafter... Missing output, yes, yes. Wait, the last one? Oh, true. Damn it. Alright, um, until... Until we get trains to do this... I'll put this over here. And this will be just full of vanilla core fragments by the time the trains are ready to go. You can build core drill later once you finish the iron. Yeah. I guess it won't take long to clear out that little bit of iron on the edge, right? Like five seconds approximately. Let's not forget this. There we go. Alright, so we got plenty of drills. I should build a... I should build a block blueprint that's like 2x2, two two, basically, so I don't have to do this. 
Whoops, shouldn't have even bothered with that last bit. But, I don't know, it's not that much more effort, is it? Uh, we've got most everything we need here. I haven't done a blueprint for the drills with upgraded belts either. You can build core drill later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, watch out for the pipes. Oh, whoops. Oh, that was close. No, it wasn't close. We actually broke it. Rip a little bit of oil. Get out of my face, stone. Uh, we're going to need a lot more rail. It's not what I'm overly concerned about at the moment. Mines. I guess if I want the maximum density, we will still be using medium power poles for the moment. And I think we should probably go north. Oh, there's a bit over there. Sort that out a little bit later. I'm stuck. Let's keep expanding this until we run out of drills. And it's done. How about we remove this for now, and where should I put it? Well, we've got these entire four blocks to play with. We don't need to be stingy with space until this mine is gone. Round about here. And I wonder... I really wish I had 3x3 containers. Uh, I guess I do. If I want to use a delivery cannon chest. I could use that to split into the bulk rail loaders. Elegantly. It's a little bit weird that it is a delivery cannon chest. But... It's fine. That's what we'll tell ourselves. And we could do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven full belts going into it, if we so desire. Um, can I just put this here? Yes, fantastic. This is already covered. This is already covered, or it would be. That is actually just so neat. I think I'm going to make this my standard way of loading from mines. Oh, we didn't use these. That's fine. Uh, 
right there. That's our iron. And we should be able to build our course core mining drill uh, pretty soon. But first we need to set up something to consume the iron. I think here would be the best spot, right between two iron mines. Do we not have power here? We do not. Need more rail. Uh, do we have any more rail left? We have 1.9k. More like 2.3k. It's not that bad, actually. But it won't be long before we need to be producing it. Uh, it got away from me. Here it is. Up we go. This will be iron ore pickup. Not that naming it is strictly necessary with LTN. I guess we can connect that as well. And now we have to rename the station again. Alright. Get to power. How's our power looking? It's actually fine. Do we have any more drills? Uh, we've got four. We've got almost 400. Let's finish this mine. I don't want to have to think about it again. come from. Ah, uh, my inventory. Why do I have a space capsule? Back we go. Where's our blueprint? Is this it? Are we covered? Not quite. That seems good. And then or two over here. And this will go here. Turn those around. Power poles. I should probably upgrade my blueprint so that it's got the second pole. Where is it? It's 
select new contents. Good enough. And I kind of like to do the same with these, but I'm feeling lazy. We'll do it anyway. Delete, delete. That one's not going to change. That one is. Create copy. Wait, what was the... What was the second one? I bet it... I bet it didn't have lighted power poles. No? That's not what it was. Oh, I think it was with yellow... Mining drills. Alright, so... Yellow belt. And I don't think I have an upgrade planner that will downgrade the mining drills. Uh, let's see. Blue drill to yellow drill. And then... Upgrade planner... That one. Oh, it even changed the icon. Smart. Yellow electric... I don't think we need yellow belts with tier 2 drills in our blueprints. But red is fine. So I don't need this one. And don't forget this piece of belt. We've already completely filled eight and a half train loads. I guess I should expect that with the size of this mine. And don't need this anymore. Let's put... Uh, I don't think I did make a basic iron plate processing block, but it's going to be exactly the same as copper. Must align with rail grid. Did we break? I think we busted the loaders somehow. I also probably want to iterate a little bit on what I'm doing with this container. What's the green box around the blueprint do? The green box around the blueprint. Uh, does that just mean the one I've got selected right now? I think, I think so. So if I hold shift and scroll, I can go through all of the blueprints in this blueprint book or a series of blueprint books. And whichever one I stop on, basic cog, that's going to be uh, the icon that represents this book. And if we go in, that's going to be the one that's selected. Um, I want to change that back to what I recognize. There it is. That's our loaders. Snap to grid. Oh, okay, yes, yes. Uh, so if we make a blueprint and we want to snap it to grid, we can either snap it to grid that's like absolute, uh, that's relative to the entire world, like what we're doing with... Where is it? Oh, now we've changed this one. Let me just scroll that back to an empty block so that I recognize it. 
Good grief, there's so many. Have we really made this many blueprints? Um, did I go past it? LCCL train blocks. We're scrolling through basic block. Oh, I think I see. There's your problem. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, so with Snap to Grid Absolute. Something like this, we can make sure they always line up. Uh, with If we change that checkbox from absolute to relative, we can do something like what we want to do with our minds. So I'll just make one from scratch. Um, let's say we want a few of these, and we want to be able to just like drag these around and get them built. Uh, so we can go, we can make a blueprint, snap to grid, relative, and hold shift, and that just drags around like that. Nice and simple. I'd actually recommend doing that on the fly when you're making repeating things like this sometimes, uh, especially if it's a very small pattern that's going to repeat a lot of times, like a chemical plant or something. You know what? Um, I could just start using delivery cannon chests to balance these. That is... Really, really simple and clean. It maybe looks a tiny bit strange, but I don't know if I'm if I care. That is crazy enough to work, indeed. So we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven outputs when we do this. That's not too bad. It's not going to be often that we need more than that. Oh, my blue, uh, my bots are switched off. There we go. We're also out of red undergrounds. I might just use blues. It's actually easier for now. We brought many stacks of blue undergrounds. Not to mention the length of them is preferable, to say the least. Nice. That's a good fit. I might actually just have this mine go straight to this chest. And then over here. Out of red belt again. How much belt do we have here? Uh not not a whole lot. Let's hurry up and get iron going then. I'd like to set up a mole block. And we'll do a proper auto crafter. Fed by the train network. With a uh, nice short... Short range logistic network. Um, so this is actually going to be iron, but the ratios are all the same. And I think once again, we'll use a delivery cannon chest for this. 
Okay. Uh, this should already be set to... Oh, that, that name was wrong. In our copper blueprint. Should probably update that. Iron plate provider. Did I run out of... no. It's patching red belt with blue. Not dodgy at all. Uh, this actually stops here. And then... no wait, that's the output. What's our max rate from all of these? One blue belt. Why don't we just do that? Individually, 3.75 per second. We kind of need stack inserters. Oh, and we were trying to leave room for beacons. Actually, the tier 2 beacon would go here. So it doesn't matter if these are closer together. So, given the circumstances... I'll definitely... use blue belts here. Whoa, wrong button. What was that? Why? Why? I was reaching for the upgrade planner. can go cleanly down this way. Although, if we can keep up with exactly one blue belt, the inserters are probably going to struggle. They don't actually necessarily manage to output at full speed. Uh, we'll see how it goes. That's a very neat output. I love that. Uh, Alright, let's go get some more blue undergrounds. Gimme, gimme. Oh, that's a lot. I mean, that's why we're using them. Furnaces. Substation can go here. And do we have fuel for our trains? Not just yet. I mean, some of them do. But if they stop at another depot. Oh, that's 300. Yeah, you can probably. You can probably get to work now. I don't think it's going to run out of fuel while it does its job. How fast are we producing fuel here? I can't really check because the production screen is going to show uh, for all surfaces. Alright, let's get some mining going over here. I might just do one belt. Do they reach? Almost. This, uh, this mine's not going to last that long, either way. So 
a very awkward layout that we need here. Something like this. Up we go. And then just a couple more. One over here. Oh, there's even tiny little bits up here. Does that cover everything? I think it actually does. They made it harder to figure that out by making it look prettier with one of the updates, but it's fine. I was going to put it in this way, but... Oh, that ended up getting moved as well. This is fine. That's going to scale up our iron production dramatically, to say the very least. Even more so when we bring in iron from this one. Actually, shouldn't the train already be doing that? The one that we've got in motion? Oh, it's picking up cryonite powder. And where's our cryonite block? Here it is. Cryonite. Fantastic. And what's this? Delivery cannons. I should double check now this is doing okay. Mineral water. We might have run out of steam, actually. Literally. Oh, wow. Yeah, zero steam. Alright, let's, uh... Let's disconnect that from the main grid for now. And maybe I'll stop the delivery cannons. Uh, the easiest way to do that is actually just turn off this constant combinator. Oh wow, we've got eight point something train loads of iron ingots. That's huge. And we've even got almost a train load of steel ingots. Have a good stream, have to get some sleep before... Before I do, later. Take care. Uh, Sabbath the Fox, thanks for hanging out. Right underneath the is off. Is it the one that I already got, or... Or no? Nice. 
Nice. No shortage of iron here. At the smelting on half gen. Half gen. Oh, this one? Yeah, that looks very weird. Because there's a fast loader there. Sneaky. On Hagen. Was it this one? Not this one. No. Smelting on Hagen. Is it is it this smelting block or? Uh... That's look. That looks better. The ore to the smelting, indeed. Right, what's our one train doing? Even more... Oh, it's going back to base. And how about some iron? Can we have some iron as a trait? Why did it just reset? Oh, it's getting fuel. Of course. We're getting a trickle of fuel, and every time we get a little more, uh, it resets its five second cooldown. Okay. I imagine we're not getting that much wood now. Yeah, we've used up the uh, surplus. I'm going to have to come up with something better. Sooner than expected. Uh, while I think about what I'm doing next, let's do some stone paving. Gordon Freeman, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Give to me all of the stone. And... That little bit is bugging me. Alright. Up here. Do our depots next. We should, we should have enough stone throughput just from that mine that we can maybe pave a block as soon as we finish it. Ooh, maybe I should try making a construction train to do the stone. Look at all the bots trying to catch up. Those cliffs look really weird when we've got stone everywhere. Oh, I don't have cliff explosives. Fantastic. And how about up here? Still not running out just yet. That went further than I thought it would. Let's get some more. Oh, I do have cliff explosives, I just don't have bots. What's taking damage? Uh, what? Did a media get through? One out of one media is destroyed. No? Did I read that wrong, or did something get damaged here? I like the looks of those cliffs at the train depot in the middle. How so? What, these ones? 
or this one. This looks really weird. Maybe a butt crashed. Uh, okay. Robot safety, is it? Swarm safety. We haven't done swarm safety one yet. But we should only have 50 logistic bots. We have 150. Okay. Well, there's your problem. Um... Even though it's a really small network, I don't know if I want to go with just 50, though. We'll see how it goes. Put these bots away. There we go, 97. Now do we have only 19? Alright, so 50 is the limit for zero bot attrition. We'll see if they can keep up until we mass produce them. Morpheus is out. Thank you very much for the nine months. Much appreciated. Thank you. Already, that's a Twitch baby, right? Indeed. Time flies. Still got a bit of stone. Oh yeah. Oh, we actually got it. Nice. It's not pretty, but neither is the snow, and this is just that much easier on the eyes. We will make it look better later on when we've got concrete. Let's go get the last of this stone. And where should we pave next? I guess it has to be the oil. We'll start with the areas that are most exposed, shall we say. finish it. I'm sad my MacBook won't power up since yesterday. Oh no. I don't envy the thought of trying to get service for that brand. Good luck, Veldek. It's company equipment. Oh, okay. That's not as bad. That That's not anywhere near as bad, actually. Uh, cryonite into chests, because I just wanted to get rid of it. But we've got 323,000, and we can't fit 1,000 in a chest. Hmm... Hmm. That's going to take a few trips to remove manually. <laughs> Actually, where does Cryonite go? Oh, I forgot. We're processing the core fragment Cryonite directly. So I don't actually have a block. Uh, I might have designed it. But I don't physically have a block that processes Cryonite. No, everything I made so far just assumes four fragments. Tomorrow I'll tell my boss I'm going to visit service shop with it, otherwise he'll have to buy me a new one. <laughs> Indeed. Nice easy half day or something. Well, maybe not a half a day. 
what should we build next? I don't feel like building another mine right now. Uh, I'd really like to get fuel flowing faster so that our trains can... Okay, there's almost no demand in this train network right now. But even so, we've got two trains that have... 2.5 trains that are full of fuel. We will need more throughput overall, though. Pretty much we've just used up the excess um, wood. Oh, there's a bunch more up here as well. Could I perhaps squeeze it through here? Blue belts aren't quite that insane. I could bring it down this way. Uh, I can't really be bothered. Let's, let's set up fuel properly instead. But first I should check on Nalvis, since I fixed power. We're up to 148, 149k, 150k steam. That's good. When's the next CME? 10 hours for Vazanus. 7 hours for Sage. We don't know of any that are coming to a planet that we're on. Lurker question? I look at your train grid and kind of love it, aside from the fact they drive on the wrong side. How dare you? But I wonder, so many intersections, does it hold up for larger train counts? Yeah, um, looking at... Towards the end of the last playthrough, looking at... Um, what was it? Entity time usage? Time usage. Looking at what was using up UPS uh, towards the end of the last playthrough, despite a very, very large base with literally thousands of trains, um, you'd be surprised how little impact the train pathfinding had compared to other things on on the UPS. So it's really not that big of a deal. What would be the best way to get... I think rocket fuel doesn't have any easy recipes in this version. We need iron plate, light oxygen... Uh, sorry, light oxygen? Iron plate, light oil, and oxygen. Okay, thanks. Gonna steal that. No worries. Stim stim patch by Twitch. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Biggest problem with your train stuff was that you had too many signals. No, I think the uh, I think the train stops with the loading and unloading. Without these kind of entities, these nice, simple systems like this was having a much, much, much bigger impact uh, on UPS. I mean, you can see the numbers in the entity update, or the, uh, what is it called? Time usage? I meant every time you added to the network. Oh yeah, every time you, every time you place a signal, you wouldn't know it at first, but every single train, and this is on all surfaces, Every single train in the game repaths whenever a signal is placed or marked for deconstruction or removed. We can't feel it at all right now, but once you get past a certain critical mass, you will very much feel it, especially when you're building an intersection with like 50 signals. Uh, maybe I should take a little break since I'm kind of blanking right now on what to do next. I want to set up, uh, preferably... It doesn't have to be rocket fuel. I could do a bunch of greenhouses 
just for fuel. Now, I don't want to do a stopgap. I want a permanent solution. So we can do light oil to solid fuel and iron plate oxygen light oil. I don't think we'll put oxygen into the rail network. We'll just... Well, okay, we might end up needing oxygen in space, but for now, we'll just get oxygen on the spot. Uh, it is a relatively small building to do that. So we'll have iron and light oil as input, solid rocket fuel as output. Should be fairly simple. We need fuel refineries. Oh, I've still got a bunch of stone. Uh, how about get out of my inventory? There we go. Colonel Will does some insanely large bases and never has that problem. Well, I'm not trying to build insanely large bases. It just happens sometimes with SE. I mean, depending on your definition of insanely large base, it's very difficult not to do that with SE eventually. I'm much more interested in how neat and clever I can make my builds than, like, the overall throughput of the whole base. Will does play vanilla? Yeah. That probably helps a little bit. Let's save the game just in case. And we'll do some screen... Uh, I need to set screenshot. Uh, LTN screensaver. Get words on stream going. I almost forgot, or rather I did forget, to fix that bot command. Let me do that first. Actually, I'll do it during the break. Uh, I've already got words on stream set up. We just need to continue. Fantastic. Apple versus pear, indeed. All right, so we'll do words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
nicely done. Level 13 is next, but not before some space exploration. Okay, where were we? Uh, I think we need to make some rocket fuel for our trains. And I think we'll jump into the editor to plan that out. I, sh I meant to turn off my Robopop before I did that, but it looks like we're fine. Now then. Uh, let's just delete this clutter for now. It does add ever so little to our UPS, I think. So I don't want to just build this out indefinitely. What's this? Oh, that's our bots that we've transported to the Shadow Realm by accident. Okay, so we're going to start with a block. Um, actually, we're going to start with a standard input-output block. We need iron plate. And we need... We barely need any iron plate, so I think I'll do it on the opposite side. We'll put that... Hmm. Okay, this would probably be cheating, but what I could do... <laughs> that would be a bit sneaky, is if I put a chest down in a place where the bulk rail loaders or unloaders are going to input or output to it, um, and then I use picker dollies, it doesn't recognize... Uh, now I'm curious. I was going to say it doesn't recognize that the chest has moved, and then I remembered it drops items onto the ground. But, what if it tries to drop it onto the corner of the chest? For a second there I was thinking items would just teleport into the chest, but that's not quite right. Yeah, okay. Uh, but we still need one more tile what I had in mind, which was unloader goes this way, underground belt goes this way, and we can fit a huge storage tank here, so that we can just have the one container directly from the train stop. What about landing pad? Uh, I don't think we... C oh, hang on. Landing pad... Uh, we can't test it here. We can't put a landing pad in, uh, in this surface. But judging by the UI, it doesn't look like it's going to paste... It, it doesn't look like it's going to give it to the landing pad unless we put it... No? Even if we put it on the corner? Really? A2 has unloaders, as in these? Yeah. I'm pretty sure those are K2. Yeah, it says K2. So... I could do... I could do this, but it definitely doesn't feel as good. And then we have our fluid like this. And solid comes down here. For as neat as this build might end up looking, it might be worth this little this little discrepancy. Um, so we need chemical plants, right? No, we need fuel refineries. Which is the same thing, but different, and probably costs more. Uh, but it's the exact same shape as a chemical plant. 
two input, uh, two fluid inputs, two fluid outputs. And if we want them to be as close together as possible, we have to do this nasty... Uh, I've actually already done this somewhere else. I think it was for cryonite? Possibly? No, cryonite's different. Cryonite is one fluid in, one fluid out. Uh, what was it? I could look around physically at the blocks that we've got. Explosives? No, sulfur, surely. Yes. This is actually the smallest we can get to put these two different fluids in. Unloaders are cheating? How dare you. This isn't my clat stream. We don't cheat. Not even once. Oh, oh, my left speaker is making static noises and stops when I move the speaker. Uh-oh. It's probably just a, a bad piece of wire connection. If you can, like, solder that up, it'll be fine. Yeah, I forget the technical term for it, but it's basically just... A piece of wire that is not so sturdy anymore, not so well connected. It'll tend to give intermittent uh, connectivity. Oh, FBI? Oh, I see what you did there. Have a phone or other electrical interference? Doesn't that make that, like, dit did it dit 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 noise? as opposed to static. Do I want to do it this way? Where's our physical output going to be? It's all rather slow. Yeah, it, uh, like, unless you have unbelievably tiny wires, like, one of my sets of headsets did, uh, where it's like, I don't know where you'd even get the tools to be able to manipulate them at that scale. Uh, it is probably going to be a fairly simple operation to fix it. And if it's busted anyway, what have you got to lose trying it, right? I hate these two fluid in recipes with these chemical plant shaped things. Especially when it's one solid in, one solid out as well. Maybe I'll put them further apart so that we could. Does that help anything? Why did I think that would... Oh, right, because what I normally like to do is something like this. But that's not going to work as well. Then again, would that even... We'd end up needing about the same amount of space, even if that did work. Unless we had undergrounds. Let's see. I'm curious now. If we were able to make them alternate like you can with a certain mod. For which fluid input is which. Then this would have to go here. And then we would just use undergrounds. Like so. That would be so much neater. 
we'd still need to do both of the physical inputs and outputs on the same side. This is exactly why I use advanced fluid handling. Is that the mod that I was just thinking of? The amp speaker set is about 20 years old by now. Wow. Made in the before time? Before planned obsolescence, that is. I'm pretty sure this is just as good as it gets, right? And if we wanted to do physical... Well, it's, it's one per second for everything, actually. Oh, except for a thousand oxygen. Wait, did you say a thousand? <clears throat> Excuse me. A thousand oxygen per second. Uh, that could be tricky. If we want more than a few of these together. It adds pipes that you can configure and reduce pipe entity count a lot. Indeed. It does need a lot of oxygen, yeah. I thought I thought I missed a decimal, but no. Um, I remember back on Nalvis, we've only got like two of these. Yeah, literally just two. But I definitely want to scale up as much as I easily can in the rail network, or at least leave room to do so. Uh, I really want... I just realized if we're going to have room for wide area beacons later on, which I want to be in the middle here, uh, then we're going to want these four tiles apart, so we may as well do physical input and output in the middle, especially because it's so slow. So then the question is just... How much oxygen can we get away with? I want to put the Atmo atmospheric condensers here. Of course they're not going to line up conveniently, why would they? How much do we get? 45 per second. I don't think we're going to be doing a lot of fuel refineries in one place. Uh, in fact, we need 23 to support one fuel refinery. Well, are these affected by modules and beacons? They are. What if we put as many as we can elegantly fit on this side? Where's the middle? It's not so bad. Leaning to the left of that one. Good. Fantastic. Okay. What if our condensers... Oh, that's actually overlapping. It's probably fine. I don't know, how many condensers could we fit under one beacon? Not this many. Actually, yes, we could. And we can just join them all together, right? Or is that not how that works? Let's find out. Uh, power. And... A sink. That'll do. 
this one okay yeah no they don't they don't actually exchange at all I guess it would be all or nothing wouldn't it okay so that's gonna severely limit how many of these we can fit um it's either going to be like this, or something like this. What kind of containers could we fit here? That's not going to be that... Oh, actually. If only this fit here, that would look nice. Wouldn't GDIW work? What's that? Neb, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. God darn it, water. God darn it, water? What kind of mod is that? Uh, it looks like no matter how we try to squeeze things in, we're fitting... I was going to say we're fitting three of these at best. We need to have room for the pipes anyway, so yeah, three at best on either side. And we can't fit this like so. Unless there's a way to do a quarter that's clever. I don't think there is. We're also thinking back to the build on Nalvis. Um, we actually need quite a lot of... Did I steal this? We can't fit a beacon in there. This is 1.35k per second. For that whole space. Which is approximately one beacon. can't see where I would fit smaller beacons in. I think we're just gonna abandon the idea of like a, a line of a significant number of these. It's going to be mostly atmospheric condensers. And... It's going to be rather tricky, I think, making it fit under... I don't think we can make it both fit under one big beacon and also uh, have an upgrade path of using basic beacons. You can decide to change the rotation of input and output with that mod. Okay, so there's at least two mods that do that. Um, I would kind of like... I guess we're going to have a pipe with a physical input or a physical output going all the way through. No way around that. Oxygen, I mean condenser. Right, here it is. Okay, so what if, what if we do, I think it's going to be a lofty goal just to have, just to support two of these in one block, or half block to be honest. Let's see. At least we can line these up like that. How many would... how much would that give us? 630 out of 1000. And... We would need... 
We might need some pumps. I don't know, if it's under a thousand, it shouldn't be a problem. Oh, I mean, if it's only a thousand. I could maybe use big containers so that there isn't quite so much. Oh, these fit together. Okay, that helps. Fluid flow through here shouldn't be as big of an issue. Except... This on the outside is not as good, obviously. So how much is this? 6.30. That's not enough. And it's not like I can really fit more... Uh, if I move the beacon, or if I move everything relative to the beacon, that would fit pretty well. Move all of this down well. Oh, wait. Make a little exception here. Actually, can we reduce the pipe count? Make the make the fluid flow better. Let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, definitely. We can make it three per machine or pair of machines, as opposed to two. And this is. 855. Painfully close. We need, what, three more? Two more? Four more? 945. Uh, this would be 990, right? I could probably live with a 99% of a perfect ratio. Probably. Just have extra outside beacon range. I could just abandon the idea of having this upgradable by just simply adding beacon. We could do a completely different shape when and if we want to add beacons to it. Space is big enough, yeah. Uh, I, th I think we're going to abandon beacons for this one. going to be the way it goes. So what kind of ratio is this again? 90% is not great. Um, if we're not trying to fit it around a beacon now, then maybe... Oh, I can't flip it. Oh, that doesn't work. Maybe like this. That's only 8, 9, 10 pipe sections. It's going to be better for the fluid flow, or airflow, literal airflow. Speed modules in the condenser. It doesn't fit as many speed modules as this, but yeah, maybe that's a good way to go. I've only got, like, tier 2s at the moment. Um, and they're kind of a pain to make on this planet for now. We don't have advanced circuit production. Did I even get to advanced circuit production? In the rail block, I did not back on Nalvis. Although, I was going to say we should have all the prerequisites. I don't think we did a green circuit build either. What am I doing? Control E. We don't want to spend too, too much time on this. Just to get things working all basic-like.
Hopefully I could fit two here. Are we going to have problems with the power? I don't think so. Alright, so this is how much? 900. Uh, it's painfully close. 945. I could live with 990. I was going to say how long would it last if we instead assume it's going to be produced in bursts. Uh, and the answer is for each high, for each huge storage tank, we're going to get exactly 200 solid rocket fuel. Which is quite a lot, actually. Considering it's stack size 10. Uh, 20 stacks. Maybe we don't worry as much about continuous production. I don't know, it's only one per second, but... How long does solid rocket fuel... Okay, how fast have we been consuming solid rocket fuel lately? I don't think we're using it for trains, though. So it's really hard to say... Uh, to give it a good comparison. This was probably when we launched a rocket. Only 15 minutes ago? That sounds doubtful, actually. Spike, spike, big spike, 4.5 hours ago. Oh, no, we might have launched a rocket, because I took all of that... Uh, yeah, I took all of that rocket tech card. This thing consumes only 1.247 solid rocket fuel per second. I would like to aim for two per second for the half block. That should be a comfortable excess. But, I don't know how we can pull that off. We're so close, though. What if I give up on the idea of a nice drop-off, a, a fast drop-off for the liquid, uh, so, uh, for the light oil? It does only consume one, oh, 100 per second, actually. That's still not that fast. So, light oil is going to be dropped off here. That gives us more space. Maybe just a little bit. Can we do it like this? Nine hundred ninety. I can live with that, especially with how neat it is. And we'll just directly insert our iron like so. You could slow down the refineries. Uh, yeah, I don't really see the need. I mean, when I give it prod modules, um, that'll definitely happen. You know what? That's a good point. Um, we can get prod ones super easy. I think. Prod twos are not much worse. It's probably a good idea at this stage. Rod 3s are a bit of a problem. I would have to use all of the Vulcanite blocks we have, period, to make two of them. Uh, what do we need? 10, 20... 30, 40 electronic components, and 200 sulfur. Why don't we have electronic components? Because we have no silicon, because no sand, because why? 
Oh. Did our robo network get busted? Or is... I thought I made this a passive. Is there a bot coming to build that? Yes, there is. That should give us back our electronic components. Uh, I could go ahead and change this to... Rod 1, it should be the same recipe. No, it's not. It needs glass. As opposed to... what? Electronics... Uh, no? Copper cable. Dub. Give it some glass. Take some glass from here. Um, and we need 200 sulfur to make some tier 2s. I guess I could have used the auto crafter now that I think about it, probably. Sure, it's powered. Uh, let's go get some sulfur. 400 to be precise. Or did I say 200? Four stacks is 200. And then up here. Might have to give it a chest. Now then, if we prod to it, oh, it's actually six. Uh, that means we need, wait, how many prod twos was I going to make? I think I miscalculated how much sulfur I need. Let's get some more. went past it. I was just thinking I need more jetpack and I flew right past what I was looking for. Uh, we got four, that's... F you know, it's one stack, isn't it? One, two, three, four, we just need two more of these. I may as well take some more down there. were to give this up to uh, the consumption drops to what? Oh, 550. Oh, it's 1.1k for the whole thing, for both of them. Which means... How much speed do we lose? Almost half of it. Yeah. Uh, but we can get significantly more for our input. What's this going to look like? 1.1k versus 9.45. I guess I could give them speed modules. I mean, it makes a ton of sense. How many could I make easily? Not that many. It would also use a bunch more power. You gotta be careful with uh, modules at this stage of the game. It's very easy to, to have them run away with your power. I think I just convinced myself to leave it for now. We'll just go with the 990 to 1000. 
then we'll reshape the thing entirely when we're how we're rich enough to spam modules. This is pretty neat though. I don't mind this. Oh, I can't flip it. How dare you. Uh, let's put you... One tile up, actually. And then this is going to be in the way. No! Oh, tragic. Just speed one? That's a lot of machines that are going to be using a lot more power. Besides which, the prods by themselves... This thing starts at one megawatt. It's not cheap. At least not for where we're up to. I guess I could put this over here. Oh god, that feels bad. Oh no. Top corner condenser doesn't have output. Uh, true. Which means, actually, we couldn't fit that in the first place. Hmm. We could almost fit it down here. Literally one tile off. But if I move this up a tile... Oh, wait. Is this it? Also, can we actually put that there and... No, I don't think... I don't think it works that way. I don't think the bulk rail unloader will put something straight into an assembly machine. Uh, so we can move all of these up one tile without colliding with that. And... that's... Get the way, actually. So this goes here. And we are going to have be able to put this here, right? Yes, good. Fantastic. Can I do better with the shape of the retainers here? Not really. This is in the wrong place. This goes here. This is only 945. This is going to be 990. And then we can't do it on this side. Uh. Oh, I can't even... Wait, yes I can. I can just barely fit that there. And can this go here? Fantastic. So we just have to squeeze one more in and make believe it doesn't look horrible. That hurts. That hurts my soul. How about over here? That also hurts my soul, but less. It's not as bad. And then our precious solid rocket fuel will come down here. And I don't think we really need a fast loader, but whatever. Okay, you could almost pretend it's symmetrical. Uh, 1.9ak, uh, it, it's literally 99% um, of a perfect ratio. Oh, it's dipping into the right side of this block quite a lot. Let's pretend we didn't see that, 
And we could always use this for air filtration, which I just realized we're not going to bother with on Hagen. There's probably another build we could put, fit here without noticing that this is sticking out. It's not like we can move it left or right with the way this layout is. Also, I was going to say also this should be here and there should be a loader, but that's not true. Making blueprints in editor? Yes, indeed. Alright, so we are looking for iron plate light oil from the rail network. I just deleted something I shouldn't have. Fantastic. And it's going into a fuel refinery in order to make solid rocket fuel. If you can move the chain signal at the bottom station, you could add an extra factory. Uh, it wouldn't be able to go into this. Move the condensers on the side down too. You mean like this? Oh, that looks weird. I know it works, but it looks weird. And... And then we wouldn't have this one in the middle. Is that less bad? Probably. One, two... You mean like this? It'll still input to the tanks. Up may look neater if you place two storage tanks. Two storage tanks? What? Oh, you mean like the smaller ones? Not quite. Uh, but yeah. That's, uh, let's check the ratio again. It's still 99%. I don't hate it. I don't think we gain anything by moving these down, right? Except maybe it looks a bit more consistent or something. It's not like we can fit two more of these. I mean, we can, if we don't mind. Using some underground pipe. We could even make it symmetrical. If we do this, it's gonna look a little weird, but maybe... Maybe that's not so bad. That's actually positive ratio. So that's not just burst output, that is continuous. Two solid rocket fuel per second. I can live with it. Considering how surprisingly difficult this one is to make it look good. Uh, I guess we can include that chest as well. And we're looking for... Iron plate, not a whole lot, let's say 1.5 train loads, which is 12,000. And then light oil, say 100k, two train loads. 
Wait, how long does it take to go through? Uh, 8.33 minutes. We could probably ask for a little bit more light oil. And that should be it. Let's do the output station. Solid rocket fuel. We can ignore what's in that chest. I think that's it. That's blueprint. Wait, did I do all the wiring properly? I believe so. Blueprint, snap to grid, absolute 8624. Uh, the build is solid rocket fuel. And... We're done ski. Let's put this in... Down here. And where should we put it? Probably right, oh, I was going to say right next to the uh, depots. We can't quite do that. Well, we kind of can, because we don't need the top right corner of this build. So we can put that there straight away. And I'll just remove the rail ghosts over here for now. Cool. Let's get started. How many condensers do we need? Uh, 46. I don't suppose our autocrafter can make them. It should be able to, assuming we don't run out of prereqs. Set that to 50. That looks good, thank you. Tiny Goliath. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's go build what we can without even checking what we need to bring. It's not a long trip. Robots go. It's remarkable how quickly a couple of stacks of stone just disappear when we place it on the ground. Oh, the train's already scheduled. That was fast. Let's try not to keep it waiting too long. May as well drop off what we have here. Didn't realize just how much be. How do you schedule your trains? Uh, with a mod called Logistic Train Network. Uh, basically you feed it positive signals when resources are available for pickup, and negative signals when you want resources delivered. So it'll always try to push that number towards zero. Condensers yet? I mean, we definitely do, but how many? Half of them. That's quite good. 
do we have enough huge storage tanks to finish this? Uh oh. I think we might have run out. No results found. Let's put it on another combi. Huge storage. 20. And that has priority. Do we have steel pipes? I don't think we do. Oh. Wait, no. Uh, I could make some. But... Yeah, we only need 12 per thing. We probably set steel pipes here. Nope, it's further down the list. It is probably going to appear later. What's 12 times 20? 240. Let's say 300 steel pipes. Yeah, I think uh, that's gonna... need some deliberate logic. Still trying to learn LTN? At first it's quite confusing, definitely. Especially if you go with the default settings. Um, I cannot recommend strongly enough to peruse LTN's mod settings, uh, because in my opinion they are a trap. They will set you up to have trains overfilling stations and going back to the depot with items still remaining and leaving you very confused as to how it happened. Alright, how many pipe do we have? 219 already? Wow. That was fast. I think we calculated we needed 200 and something, right? So, my lazy way of dealing with these prerequisites is to try to just... Make sure we aim to have enough of them, that if we spent all of them on this, uh, there would still be some left. I mean, it's not always going to work. I think we're out of steel now. Maybe I shouldn't have turned all of these steel plates into steel pipes? Uh, do we have... We have some steel ingots, I'll go get them. Steel... Ingots. They're not the same colour as the steel plate. It might be useful to set up a command to link to YouTube on LTN settings. LTN settings? Oh, I see. Wait. Maybe I don't. Let's get an assembler here. Steel plate from ingot. We can put more than a stack in. Alright. How fast is this? 1.5 plate per second. It's not too bad, I guess. Especially for how long it usually takes to make steel. Uh, what about iron? Is that the same? 3 per second. Okay. Make a clip about highlight on Twitch might be... Oh, and highlight it on Twitch. In 
Indeed. How many tanks do we have? Only three. That's not great. We need five... Uh, we need exactly... Twelve. This is actually kind of slow. Um, how about another one? Do I not have a chest? Guess not. Uh, how about how about this? Ingots, get out of here. We'll go get quite a few more. Yoink. That's actually most of the ones we've sent. Well, that's what they're here for. Ingot, go burn. And we just need five more tanks. Stop bringing me plate. Give it to the machine. 60 steel plates per huge storage tank, ignoring the rest of it. 112. It's more than a stack of steel plate for a huge storage tank. Ouch. Oh, we have some more here. Three to go. Do we have any more steel plate down... No, it's in the robot network. Uh, what other things do we need? Fuel refineries. Do we have those here? I don't think so. Fuel refinery. Oh, we do. We have seven. Good enough. I don't know what course of events led us to have seven fuel refineries, but I'll take it. Fantastic. Uh, and what about our condensers? 35, that's most of them. But it seems like we're slowing down or stopped. Anything else? No, it's... Oh, we need a bulk rail loader. Can I handcraft one? I can. And what about the rest? I can do four Atmo condensers right now. Then we need steel beams, which we've got here. Should probably be a bit more deliberate with my ordering. Uh, I don't think it's going to matter for the condensers. But I could have prioritized some huge storage tanks. Oh. In order to just get this working. Apparently we're missing a loader.
Oh, and we need power. That would probably be a good idea. Minor detail. Uh, this goes here. Substation. Down this way. There's no middle. How dare you. That just leaves the ones in the middle. I'll just put this here, I think. Fantastic. Alright, do we have rocket fuel? We don't have light oil. We should have light oil. It's definitely in the rail network. Oh, did I not do a fluid wagon yet? Oh, I did. I just haven't gotten them started. It's, they're actually both ready to go. Nice. I'm surprised how quickly they got... Oh, they're just doing a lap. Because they weren't actually in position yet. Okay. Okay. And then we'll do... I actually want this to accept short trains. Which means... I could just limit it to one train load. And this is half a train load. Or I could set something to rebalance it for when the short train takes from here. I could literally just use an inserter for that, except there's no power. I don't want to add a substation just for that. So we're simply going to say if... Uh, less than 400 solid rocket fuel. We're going to allow solid rocket fuel to go in this way. Considering how slow... How long does it take? Two seconds? Five seconds per stack? Uh, 400 seconds to fill a train. Hmm. Hmm. Because I realize it's going to make this really imbalanced for... Temporarily, it's going to make this very imbalanced for a long train. I don't think there's a way to have it both ways, not without more combinator logic. Which is what I'm trying to avoid. I think I'll just limit it to one train load. Or 1.5 train loads. Plus what fits in the belt. Which, considering how small the stack size is, is not an insignificant amount. So we'll be creeping towards two train loads of stuff that can be stored here. And considering the throughput of solid rocket fuel, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Okay. 
And I want this to ask for solid rocket fuel, uh, a train load or two. 40 times 10 is 400, let's say 800, and 1600. Wait, isn't 1.6... did I miscalculate? No, I think it's 3.2k that was the old four cargo wagons. 40 times 10 times 4 is 1.6. Okay, never mind. So this should be 800, and the other one should be 400. No, I was going for two train loads. That's correct. That's fine. Uh, this should be called Solid Rocket Fuel Requester. So should this. I think that other station name isn't quite right. Oh, I see. That should have a 2. For the train length. Or rather, the number of wagons. Fantastic. Alright, do we have the rest of our condensers and stuff? Where am I going? It seems we've been making them. Uh, but where are they? We've got 33 plus 1. Fantastic. More than enough. And we need huge storage, uh, fluid storage. Where be that? And we have 20. Nice. Auto craft for the win. And there's our build. Use Mike, thank you very much for the five gifted subs. Much appreciated, thank you. 30 in total, wow. Thank you so much. We seem to be... Are we having oxygen throughput issues, or no? We might be? Is this light? Or is it too much light? Do we need to get the stone over here? We can do that. Get this out of my inventory for now. Probably just as well, since I'm using solid rocket fuel to fly around. Okay. Let's head over to our stone. Put our stuff in a chest. I might make sure I bring the bots this time. we go. Let there be stone. Fantastic. I find it a little ironic, considering last playthrough the problem was everything was too dark. Oh, is that iron? No, that's not iron. Speaking of iron, how is our plate doing? Oh, it's completely saturated. Wow. 
That didn't take long. I'm seeing quite a lot of downtime for our supposed 100% uh, hundred percent production rate over here. I think we're going to have to wait and see what it does when it completely fills. Uh, but I'm getting the impression that actually... We probably need pumps to force this up here. I don't know, normally I wouldn't expect 11, 12, 13 pipe sections to be too much of a hindrance for only a thousand uh, fluid per second. I could be wrong. We'll see how it goes when it saturates. Maybe pump to force it in. Yeah, that's what we did last time, but it didn't really have room here. And that looks weird on the map. Solid rocket fuel. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to fit it in, to be honest. I guess just not have the huge containers. And have way too many pumps. Let's get some more stone while we're at it. Make the home area a bit more easy to look at, brightness-wise. The albedo of this planet is going... Wait, is that the right word? You know, the brightness, the, sh the reflectiveness of it. It's going down. By the time we're done with it, it's going to have dropped like 99%. Okay. Let's go grab our stuff. Albedo. Okay, cool. What should we do? We've only got a few minutes left for today. I am going to continue uh, SEK2 tomorrow, just because I feel like doing more of it right now. Uh, but what should we do in the last few minutes, I wonder? Oh. How about we fill out these pulverizers? That's easy. It's entirely unnecessary at the moment, but I don't care. Pulverizer. We need all of this stuff. Actually, could I just get the auto crafter to do it? It's not going to be a high priority, I don't think. Let's switch this off for now. Nice and easy. And a lot faster than I can handcraft it, even ignoring that I probably would have had to craft some prereqs. What do we need? 15, I think I said. Yeah, 15. I also don't need these rod modules. No, I don't think we're going to have uh, prod nines by the end of the day. I just have a very strong feeling that that might not happen. That's a better way to do it. Was there anything that I added to the one on Nalvis after the fact? 
I don't think so. We were thinking about putting a crusher here for overflow, but it's way too slow. Alright, so how many do we have? All bow riser. We have six. Seven. And I can see where they're putting them. So I think the first thing I want to do tomorrow is probably... We can't really do anything with Holmium yet. Uh, we're already tapping more crude oil than we need for now. We've got infinite cryonite. At the rate we're going, just a core drill or two is more cryonite than we can spend. Um, not that we have the infrastructure to spend it yet. I guess what I really want to work towards tomorrow is a bunch of basics in the rail network so that we can make a mall, as in a block in the rail network for a mall, and we're going to use our precious few uh, requester chests or similar to make a really good auto crafter with multiple assemblers. I guess we only have so many We've got like six, seven, maybe a couple more buffer chests. I think we've got like a handful, like maybe three or four. There it is, four blue chests. So we can't do that many recipes in parallel. That is one way of getting around having to deal with the uh, prerequisites, by the way, is simply having a number of machines working in parallel. Where should the mall go? Probably here. Right next to the delivery cannon chests. Another super easy way is to make an entire computer do it for you. Super easy to do. Indeed. Uh, there's our 15 pulverizers. Fantastic. And we're done. How much? We've got infinite core fragments, vanilla core fragments available here. So why hasn't a train picked it up yet? Did I not enable these stations? I did not enable these stations. Oh, wait, 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 before you do. Let's correct the station name. No. Oh, I thought that was yellow. It's fine. Let's get some vanilla core fragments going. And we'll get a minimal amount of pyroflux out of it as well. What other uses do we have for pyroflux at the moment besides liquid smelting? We can use it for glass. What do you do? Uh, a thousand water plus ten pyroflux gives us a small amount of, a very small amount of ores. Two times one percent copper, that's a weird way of putting it. And we also get some steam back, so I guess you can use that for power. Not very excited so far. We're definitely not using 60 pyroflux for solid rocket fuel anytime soon. Although it does need way less oxygen. Uh, Iridium blast cake plus pyroflux makes ingot. Molten, beryllium, holmium, aquium. Okay. So I think... The only thing I see myself using Pyroflux for for a while is making ingots just because they're high stack density, just like we've been doing. Um, 
but this becoming our main base, that's not going to matter until we're sending it to space. Is our train not coming? Why is our train not coming? Oh, because we didn't re uh, we forgot to request core fragments. Uh, let's see, stack size 20, is it? What, I, why don't I just copy what I've done on Nalvis? There we go. Train should be scheduled in about one second. Or not. There it is. And maybe this one too in a moment. Nice. Alright. Uh, that'll do it for today, I think. Let's see who's streaming Factorio. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. Uh, I don't see... I was going to raid Mucky today, but I don't see him. We could do JD. Choo Choo Train is bigger on the inside. Okay, that sounds interesting. And there's our core fragments. Nice. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out, Prakko. Take care, guy clicking. Uh, let me just save it here. Whoops, don't load, don't load. Save game. There we go. Later, Marsh. And away we go. But they could be. So where is this I wagon? I guess they could be like a train upgrade or something. Hey, Hacks! How you doing?